Okay. Hello everyone! Welcome to International Coffee and for me lunch. Mmm. 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 On this stream, I'm here. Uga fucking sorry. Uga cunt. Mmm. This is good food. I'm here with Brockers and we're talking about things. This is the afternoon show for all the Europeans. If you're watching, hello. I'm from Europe. And Brockers is not, so it's painful for him. I like Food. Ah! Fuck! No! Ow! Ow! My, no! I spilled again. God what the fuck it. did I walk back into? I ran into a wall on my way back here because my house is dark. What the fuck did you do? Oh my god! I just dropped boiling curry on my grind. Oh! Oh my fuck, god! Oh! oh that, that, and I'm naked. That hurts. Oh. Yes. <laughs> what? Okay. What? Hold on. Two seconds. I just need to clarify. Did you just tell us uh, you're naked? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. It's, it's two in the afternoon. Of course I'm naked. That's no, that doesn't sound normal at all. In, in the I just slightest. Perry right in my the tip. Right on the tip. <laughs> and it hurts. Oh Jesus fuck. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? fuck? Damn it. I can't. I don't know how to eat today. That's the second time in ten minutes I've fucking burned myself, and this time it was the tip. God Why damn it. are you? Oh my god! Jesus <laughs> fuck. Okay, lo-fi. For 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 just a few seconds. Yes. Stop eating super fucking hot food. I'm sorry. I don't understand what you're saying. Just I don't. Oh my god. Put my, it down my... and let it cool down a bit because I mean, if you just keep eating, you're gonna fucking melt your goddamn body apart. Apparently so. Oh, sorry, my my female cock hurts. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what a great intro. My, god my damn female god damn god this fuck. Is, this is why uh, I fucking love streaming with you, Lo-Fi. The, the, the insanity. Is, is, my hand is blistered because I grabbed the fork <laughs> with my hand and grabbed burning pork, and now my my pee pee head is also. <laughs> I was like, <sighs> <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait! It's it's uh like about two in the afternoon where you are, right? Yeah, it's a little past lunchtime. A little, a little past. Okay. Uh, question then. Um. Is it hot there? Like warm in the afternoon? I'm summertime. Fucking, I assume. It's so fucking. It's disgusting. Um, have... Yesterday, I know. I this is Denmark, so you're all gonna be like, that's not, that's not, that's not at all very hot. But yesterday it was 28 degrees, humid heat with no wind. At this time, I can't. I let me translate. <laughs> Fahren, that's 82.4 degrees Fahrenheit. That's very hot in Denmark, and I got a heat stroke. Um, and now it's, I think it's four degrees less. Oh, wow. Oh, that's yeah. why I'm naked. <laughs> no, I was actually going to ask, do you have like a fan or an AC unit in your, in your uh, house? No, I use my body, I fought. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Yeah, no. You Europe needs to get with the fucking times and start getting on these AC units. Uh, no way. Holy shit. No. <laughs> God damn it. We have something that makes way more sense and you want to change it to some stupid shit. No, wait. You have something that makes way more sense. Let's get naked. It's still hot. Yeah, it's not going to get better. And we don't need AC. I fuck. I worked for a company that made AC units for malls, like you know the big uh, propellers for that. Mm. I don't have one myself. I don't need it. I'm too strong. While I'm dying of heat stroke for the third day in a row, possibly. All right, all right. Well, that was a hell of a fucking ten minute introduction into this 
fucking show. Welcome, everybody, to International Coffee, a show that uh, I talked to Lo-Fi about a few weeks back, and uh, she totally likes the idea. Essentially, there was one thing that I had actually started to notice that um, I wanted to kind of change a bit. We do have a bit of an international uh, um, uh, international audience here on the cut stream. So I figured that to make things a little easier, we would stream in an hour that is actually kind of in the afternoon for those on the other side of the pond. And since Lo-Fi is actually in Europe, and Denmark specifically, that my co-host would actually benefit from being able to, you know, be on a stream when it's fucking daylight out and not pretend to be a goddamn vampire the entire time. So this this in chat, yes, twenty eight C is is hot for a Scandinavian. It is. It really is. It's disgustingly hot for a Scandinavian person. I don't. That sucks. I'm glad I'm not in Texas. I would fucking die then. Yeah, yeah. Um, one one thing I do have to warn you, uh, Lo, is uh, if you come here in America, the weather is not going to be what you are used to. Um, maybe if you go further north towards Canada, you probably get something of a familiarity when it comes to the temperatures and such. But overall, you're fucked in the southwest. Okay, I'm done eating. Mm. And I did sure? spill again. You sure you don't want to burn your fucking asshole or something? No, I don't eat with that yet. I mm, okay. Oh, see, but here, here's the thing: I'm not gonna end up in Canada because imagine if I misgendered myself up there, I would get arrested. <laughs> I don't think they'd have the balls to actually fucking arrest you, though. Can you imagine going like. Did you just misgender yourself? Fuck! No! Don't find me! I'm okay with it! <laughs> yeah, but okay, think about it like this. One, you're essentially a woman. Two, you're trans. Three, you're foreign. Four, you don't have the greatest of eyesight. And five, you're much taller than the average woman in the uh, uh, the Americas. So you've got a, quite a few things going on making you a minority. But I think the blonde hair and uh, white girl fucking complexion will probably get you locked up anyways. Nazi! No! No! No, I'm not! <laughs> you misgendered yourself, you fucking Nazi. No! God damn it. I, that's a good question. Though. How can one misgender themselves? I have, it happens on occasion, because there's part of my family that still, on occasion, say him to me, right? Because they got, they, they are like old, old people and they, they don't understand. Gotcha. Um, and sometimes when that happens too much, I start saying him, even though it's been 10 years more plus. So that's that's how you misgender yourself. All right, I guess that that works on that scale, but still, I I don't believe that's real. That's just like when somebody says, "I'll murder myself." Well, that's just suicide. Yeah, but I'll murder myself. Okay, you can't no exactly. Murder don't yourself. murder you. Only I can murder me. Canadian threw a corpse in jail. He murdered himself. Now he has to serve time. <laughs> I I don't know uh, how the the jailmate or the cellmate would actually take that and be like, wait, why 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 is there a dead body in my jail cell? Oh well, this yeah. guy murdered himself. And Let's then put next him day, in the grave. Next day, another guy comes by. It's like, oh my god, you murdered your cellmate. You ain't <laughs> and then you get fucked. Oh, and because it's fucking the Canadian jails and they're secretly very fucking racist, like more so than America, because up in Canada, everybody has to pretend like, oh, no, we're super good, eh? No, you guys are pretty much secretly the devils. So I assume that when they put my corpse into somebody's cell, it'd be a black guy. That way they could say he murdered me <laughs> the very next day. Yes. And they're gonna make sure it's not 
uh, a Muslim person because then they can go, oh, Muslims would never have done this. <laughs> this is all Christians. It, yeah, Christians. It's, uh, Christians are the evil of the planet. I can't exactly disagree with that. But you know Christians are the evil of the planet. Muslims didn't do nothing. They did not. And I smell like curry. I wonder <laughs> why. My dick smells like curry. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sad a little bit because I could have eaten that curry. I, now I'm sad I can't reach down there. <laughs> well, well, I mean, if there's a, a neighbor nearby that uh, might enjoy no, curry. No, they're all old. No, they're all old. No, I would not stick my dick in them. And also, it's my curry. So unless they can help me bend over all the way down there, I'm not interested. I, you never know. People might be into some weird shit. Could you, could you, could you step on my back so my face can reach my grind? Because I spilled some curry and I really want to. <laughs> mm. Sure, young lady. I'll go ahead and help you with this. Wait, you want me to do what now? I'm unsure about why I have so adamantly decided to turn our first show into self fellatio. Uh, I'm sorry. Have you not been paying attention to Cunt Stream? First of all, the name of the show should pretty much give you a guy. I don't watch Cunt Stream. I've heard they're all a bunch of faggots. Especially that one person <laughs> with an anime avatar. God damn it. <laughs> what a yeah. faggot. Oh, yeah. shit. I, I also heard that uh, that that anime avatar using faggots fucking co-host is a, is a fat piece of shit. Oh my god, I hate that guy. Yeah, I I want uh, 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 that faggots co-host and my co-host to fight. <laughs> god damn it! I'm not fighting myself. <laughs> That's so weird. Why do I smell this? Why am I asking why I smell this much of curry? I'm so annoyed. <laughs> oh my god! I sp- we all know exactly why you smell of curry. It's you know it's what? not a question of why. It's a question of what you gonna do about it. I need a cold shower because my dickhead hurts a lot. I don't think people need to. You know what? No, the the audience must know these things because why not? <laughs> It's okay, Anubis. You can your your boss can join into self fellatio hour with Braggers and Oh yeah, yeah. Totally give him the uh, the the other headphone or the ear, earbud, whatever the hell. Give him the hangout link. He can he can uh, listen to us talk about Tranny's penis and why mm-hmm. it smells like curry. It's because it's it's from India. It's not. It's... <laughs> I fucking. <him. laughs> You know, I I have a, a a theory that uh that the original trainees actually all came from India. They were just very flamboyant, effeminate men who decided they were tired of being men and wanted to sit down when they pee. So they basically decided, "Fuck it. I'm going to be a lady now." I you miss I did, I you miss miss gingering every tranny in the world. A little bit. Why did I Google Tranny? I Google don't know. Pictures, God damn it. I don't need pictures. I can just look down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, so what, <laughs> while, while we have a bit of an audience here, I actually uh, I hit up Roy to see if uh, maybe he was available. Uh, he's actually the only person, aside from you, in Europe that I actually have contact with that I could DM and just be like, hey, you up? Oh Roy! Oh, I said I I couldn't understand what the fuck name you said. Oh yeah, no. Roy oh, yeah. from, from uh, Very Nearly Viral. Yeah, I, I know Roy. We talked about him and Lacey last night on the Cunt Streams uh, Blackman Button. Oi! Oh, what? Oh, you that sound good? He's a nice man. Yeah, yeah. It actually went uh well for fucking once, cause for the last three episodes. Of the Blackman button since since uh, um, Schmeckel decided to actually create the Blackman button, we've had a, a fucking problem with uh, going completely off track because the first time we did one, I got to talk at length about poisoning the well. Then we were supposed to move on to very nearly viral, but then Sarah started her fucking shit. 
oh. follow up one week later. And again, Schmeckel was trying to talk about very nearly viral. And I can't remember what fucking drama happened that time. But holy fuck, it did not let shit happen. It just no, got, it got derailed hard. I like derailing to a to a degree. Not every time. This is fucking Christ. I'm with, I'm in too many streams that derails. But um, Sarah decided she's blocked me on Twitter long ago now. She decided to smack talk me, so I couldn't see it. But she kind of misunderstood that no one likes her. So oh. I know exactly what she said. Oh no, fair enough. No, yeah, I, I don't. Uh... Nobody, nobody fucking likes her at all. No, she's stupid. She's a cunt. She's a stupid cunt. She's not a good cunt like us. She's a bad cunt. Wait, we're good cunts? Yeah, she's a fishy, smelly cunt. Oh, God. I need to do more research now. Don't okay, ask me so for what. Are you going to Google fishy, smelly no, cunt? No, that's, that's not that's what I'm gross. Googling. That's totally oh not what God. I'm Googling. Oh, Don't ask me to screen share. That's some weird ass porn. Don't look at that. Look, what I do with fish porn is my business, not yours. Anyways, uh, <laughs> we were talking about something off air that really caught our attention, and uh, I was thinking about jumping back into that discussion. Anime. We were Anime. nerding the fuck out again. As usual. Goodbye, audience. We're talking about anime now. You're allowed to leave. <laughs> Another clone. <laughs> Wrong hour. Cut stream is at night. Go to bed. Uh, I, re no, I refuse. Th this is not the uh, wrong hour. Yes, the cut stream is at night. Technically, for me, it's still at night. Um, although it's actually more like about to become dawn. But uh, no, this is a, a new show. Uh, I've already uh, gotten the approval from Schmeckel and everything like that. And yeah, so essentially what this is, is it's going to be a morning show for those of us over here on the um, North American side of the world. And everybody else is going to be essentially daytime, morning, whatever. So yeah. That's also why the show is called International Coffee. Fucking gay. Yeah, I yes, I am. Yes. No, I am. Fuck you. You're not gay. Go away. I. Uh, uh, did you How just... dare you? How dare you steal my stick? It's oh, not. My a stick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. Why are you? You say you say things, Lofa. You say things that make me never regret inviting you to come on the streams. Make them better. You make them so much better. I, I don't know who Kitty Kane is, but she apparently wants to know how you're feeling. Oh, hey, Kitty. Hi, Kitty. No. I'm very good. I, I don't took know this pictures. person. Oh, they are on Twitter. Oh, are you still taking I, pictures of, uh, of shit you see when you're on your way like, to go I and do see? park and recreation? Yeah. Yeah. When I go yell at my... Oh, that's a fun story. I yelled at my caseworker so bad today, she why? almost started crying. But why? Why did you yell at because, her? Because uh, the little cunt um, told me how much I would get paid for a month working mm -hmm. uh, for park and recreations as like, you know, like uh, activation. So I had something to do so I get some income. And I asked, okay, so it's been a month now. I'm supposed to get paid today. I didn't. When do I get my money? And how much do I get? And she's like, have no one answered you that? And I said, no. Every time I fucking ask any of you, they say, oh, I don't know. And then she said, oh, yeah, so oh, it's this. You you get this. Uh, let me translate to your, your, your money. Papa booby, bully boo -boo. You get $390. And it's like, are you fucking kidding me? Did I just pay work full time for a month for three hundred ninety dollars? You, f are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna fucking quit this right now, you stupid cunt. And I just, I was, 
like an inch away from flip, legitimately flipping a table and just smashing shit at the parks and recreation office. And uh, then some guy ex- uh, went in and corrected her and said, no, you could get $1,700. And after that, you could hear in her voice, you know, when it's like uh, waver- w- wavering and it's like, yeah, on the verge of crying. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know exactly. Okay, but here, that's... 1700 is massively different than 300 plus. Yes, uh, I know. There's a, there's a huge miscalculation. Did she think that 300 plus was just simply the cost that she needed to pay her fucking rent or something? I don't I don't get no, where she would get that. Uh, it's because she for, she even though she just said it 5 minutes earlier, she forgot I'm 27 and I do have a degree, multiple degrees. So I fall under the after degrees uh, help thing. And that is $1,700 a month minimum. If you are currently taking a degree or going to take a degree, you get $390. Even if it's full time, you still only get $390 a month. Okay. Because okay. I have my degree, I get the $1,700. Now I don't know when I'll get him. She'll call me Monday. I've never heard anyone apologize that many times in a minute as when they, um, well, yeah, her and poor her. I feel bad for her. No, I don't. Fuck that. You're, I don't feel was, bad for her. She was undercutting you a, a large chunk of money. She was basically undercutting you 1400 bucks. Yeah. And it's because it's like, and she's like, oh my God, how did I forget? She said, <coughs> We just talked about you having a degree and that you might be able to work at the local museum of the fucking farmer town you live at. I was like, yeah, that, that would be great. Uh, that I could do that easily. No problem. Wow. No, see, J- Jando, it's not a job. It's I don't have a job. So I went to the state. I couldn't get a job within a couple of months. I went to the state because I need money to pay my rent. And they said, okay, you do this, you get a caseworker who works for you, who sees how it goes and checks in that everything works as promised. And then they sent me in like activation where you got, you become basically an intern temporarily at a place up to three months. And for me, I got park and recreation because I am an archaeologist and they thought like, that means I like going outside in the sun nonstop because my specialty is the Middle East. And I, I, they are very wrong because I only like my outside desertly fun if there's gunshots and suicide bombers. Oh, that just got dark. That just, <laughs> I, I did not expect it to make that turn. You know what? I don't even know why I, I should be surprised. It's it's you, Lo-Fi. For, <laughs> in the amount of time I have known you, uh, you don't pull back punches. In fact, sometimes when you throw one punch... Seven hands have come out of nowhere to throw an additional seven punches. And no one knows where they came from, but there they are. You know, you you have seen you have you seen Honda X Honda 2011 or even just the old one? No, I don't think so. You should watch that by the way. But yeah, that's like the Netero, the, the strongest hunter at that point. He has that technique where he's so fast at praying, it's like he has the seven hands of Buddha. Or the yeah the eight hands of Buddha and so it's like that's me with insults. You only see one pair of hands, but then I smack you from eight sides with all the insults. And you think I'm a racist, but I'm really not. Oh, and no. I can prove it with math. <laughs> shut up! You are not Rick Sanchez. Aloha, sunblock lo-fi. Shut up. I did use it today again. Third third times the charm. I failed again. And I've never been this red in my head. You know what kind of drives me crazy about fucking sunblock is um, they tell you uh, that you need a specific amount of SPF. Like, you need this many SPF. I never understand it. I don't fucking understand the, the, the degree. Like, why are there varying degrees for, for your skin? Shouldn't there be one set? The sun ain't going to fuck with you now. That would be a nice thing called the sun is not going to touch you. It just that's makes called, sense. That's called a big head. That, well, oh, that reminds no. me I have to go buy a big head. Why? 
because uh, let me see if I can find my old archaeology hat. You know, uh, you know, of course, you know cowboy hats and such. I had a cowboy hat from the US, but almost the size of a sombrero I used when I dug in the Middle East. Wow. Okay. Yeah, and that's the best thing I've ever had. It was fucking great. Why don't you just be one of those goth kids who just carries a fucking parasol around? Excuse me? Do you want me to be one? I would love to, but I I can't carry it because then I would have to put on makeup way too often and I wouldn't want to do that. No, you, you don't have to fucking put up makeup. You just you just take the it's a fucking umbrella and you just you open it up, you keep the sun off of you. If people ask you why are you using it, it's not raining, you tell them, fuck you, I'm blocking the sun. That's smart. I just Google creep store hat, which means translates into big buy a big hat. Let's see if I can buy it. If I can get Big Hat Logan's hat from Dark Souls, I will wear that. If someone sends me Big Hat Logan's hat, I will wear it and I'll take pictures of me wearing a hat that's the size of a base a parasol. Just get Alucard's hat from fucking Helsing. It's not big enough. It, it should be. No, let me show you Big Hat Logan. Hat. Okay. Uh, I am screen sharing. It looks Open like a uh, wheat field. Oh, okay. I see what you're getting at. And yeah, okay. That's that a big hat. Be, that's not a big hat. That's basically that's an umbrella a with a fucking that's bigger hat. A, a place for your head. Yeah, so if someone if someone sends me, I promise to God I will use it and I will take pictures of it and I will have a field day running around in Big Hat Logan's hat. <laughs> Other hats I will accept is is the straw hats from uh, Trouble in Chinatown. Oh God! Big Trouble in Chinatown. Big, Big trouble, trouble in Little in... China. That's yeah. how it is. God damn it. That hat I will accept as well. Yeah, of course you would. You would want that though, because then you get to make all the racist jokes you want. <clears throat> I do have uh, what's it called? I I don't know why I'm just talking about my hats right now. Old British Explorer hat. Oh. Okay. Uh, let me see. Let me screen share again. One of this. I have one of these. A legit old school. They're not very good for. No, I another clone. I don't think the cat in the hat hat is good enough. I'm not so sure those hats were ever really friggin' useful. Now that I think about it. Oh yeah, they are because you see they have like a. First of all, they are kind of like uh, explorer hard hats. They serve the purpose of if you get a branch in the face, it doesn't hurt as much. Also, they were big and lumpy because then when you put them on, you would you would carry in a lot of the cold air from when you put it on in the morning. And it would cool down the top of your head. Any hat is technically a help. But I do like my hat with a giant shade. I throw shade at hats. Wow. It is... Yeah, see, Fur Infinity, they were helmets. Exactly. They used to be old uh, military helmets as well. And they got turned into by the rich people who used them as basically as explorer hats and hard hats. Yeah, I don't think I would ever really wear something like that. Only because the second I do, I, w- I would immediately turn into the fucking hunter from uh, Jumanji. No, you would turn into uh, smashing. Smash? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good... Yes, quite smashing. Mm. Yes, mm-hmm. quite <laughs> Nigel Thornberry smashing. I don't. Oh my god, the the Nigel Thornberry fucking memes, man. Those things were were fantastic. Fuck, I love Nigel Thornberry. Everybody did. Everybody loves so, Nigel Thornberry. They want Tim Curry to show. get his voice back so that he could just keep doing Nigel Thornberry. Oh. My god. oh. oh. Anyway, so, we were. What hats do you? <laughs> I don't fucking want to talk about hats. It's the hat show. It's not the fucking hat show. I'm not going to talk about hats. The only hats I wear are fucking 
ball caps essentially like i have a star wars one i have a solid black one for work i have a, a deadpool one and and i have a uh sons of anarchy hat and then i wear a bunch of fucking nerdy ass beanies because the other ones were not nerdy the only the beanies are nerdy <laughs> oh yeah fair enough yeah deadpool hat nerdy <laughs> star wars hat nerdy sons of anarchy eh, kind of nerdy wow big cowboy hats are expensive yeah there's actually um things that you would probably expect to not be very expensive because there's an abundance of them they're surprisingly very expensive especially the uh the cowboy hats that you want that are actually like they're uh, they're kind of fitted for you so to speak but they are uh they they have that look of you know you've been wearing it for years kind of thing, but they're authentic <laughs> leather and all that shit. It's fucking goddamn. I came uh, all I told is I came for the coffee but stayed for the burnt penis and hat talk. <laughs> That's it. I have uh, gone into the vent mode. By the way, my penis is sweating to decrease or, the swelling. <laughs> A part of me feels like I need to change the title of the stream to uh, Big Hats and Burnt Dicks. <laughs> Big Hat and Burnt Dicks. <laughs> That's kind of what the theme has been. Because <laughs> like, <laughs> before we go live, you're fucking eating your goddamn curry and then you burn your fucking hand with the curry because you're not paying attention and then we go live and you fucking spill some oh fuck Lofa, you're gonna kill yourself one of these days and it's gonna be because you ate something hot yeah I'm literally gonna kill myself with curry one day yeah but then I'm gonna go ahead and try to convince the police well no this is actually murder she murdered herself Hey Tennessee Marine as well. Hey this, my brother has a beaver hat. Those are nice, almost a thousand dollar hat though. I don't want. I, I that's a little too expensive for me to shove my head inside a beaver for twenty for a thousand dollar. But any big hat will do if anyone wants to <laughs> donate a big hat. Uh. Oh you know how much my penis hurt? It's like someone is constantly flaking the head. It's what? It's like someone is constantly giving me, like you know, a, a flick oh. of the, the, the head. Do you know what the worst, the awkward part is? Since I like pain, it's kind of arousing. <laughs> so, so now you've basically got a uh, a big burnt boner. No, it's a half chop because at 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 the same time it's falling down because of it, but it's also then trying to get out. It's like, oh, this is nice, but it really hurts. But it's nice, but it's burning. But it's nice. <laughs> God that fucking Jewish cock make up the fucking mind man God damn it Why does it have to be a Jewish cock that you know, doesn't you like a... <laughs> No it doesn't make any sense because I'm not circumcised Fuck YouTube Fuck YouTube By the way if, if nobody has seen uh, one of Lo-Fi's latest videos I highly recommend going over to her fucking channel, which is just simply lo-fi, obviously, and watching the latest video because, God damn it, that was fucking funny. It was so low energy. It was low energy fi or low in fi, as I like to say. Uh, so, yeah, I know. I know. I know. See, see. Also, you can watch the other video, which is, mm, I guess it's a kind of meme. I don't know. Fuck you, I linked in the chat. What's that one? It's great. There's the newer video. Same voice. Same stupid. It's a vi old video I made new, sadly. Halfway through when I just decided, no, we need something. Uh, yeah. And but, it's great. By the way, I I, uh, I did actually um, watch the uh, the redone version of the new opening. Yeah. The <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I... I wish, you know, things hadn't gone the way they did and everything, but how you handled that, that opener, the, the beginning for a uh, uh, proper villains, it, it was actually fucking hilarious. I applaud you. 
I'm I'm glad you liked it because it's like well I don't want to be mean but god damn it I'm I'm proud of that oh no I'm dropping it oh no oh no it's perfect fuck I love it <laughs> I just loved how all of a sudden it's just like oh oh no I, this is awkward. not good <laughs> awkward and then you have a shitty rendering with the name for Kadant and just keep replacing. <laughs> Whatever my head is. <laughs> sliding it in from different <laughs> angles with that shitty fucking <laughs> and picture. The, and then the name part in the end is like without sound or anything. Come on! <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I had so much fun. Yeah, I I uh, I kind of watched it like two times in a row because I thought it was fucking hilarious. I I am I'm glad that everyone in, involved in that video liked it now. Uh, <laughs> that, that makes me happy cuz yeah. Well, yeah, it, it was actually very well done and fucking hilarious. <laughs> like again, I I can I I wish things had not gone the route that they did, but you know, you can't exactly change shit. Fuck it. Move on. And uh you definitely moved on and did a brilliant fucking job of showing like all right well i guess we're gonna keep going forward <laughs> like i love it though because uh, uh one of the other reasons why is like you you sh uh when we talked about the original version of it you clearly put a lot of time and effort into it and you weren't gonna just let that die so that that actually made me smile too it's it was actually supposed to be different after because of course, all of this was made before the big birthday blowout. Let's call it that. That sounds more fun. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, so it was actually supposed to be um, different. But a certain someone never fucking sent a picture to use. So I was like, okay, if that's going to be it, let's go with the cheap theme. Let's go with the extremely cheap theme. To be honest, I, I I think uh, I think this version was just better. The oh I think so, no so. awkward mm -hmm. like I I fucking loved it. I'm dropping it. Oh no, God, it's perfect. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Oh my God, I I I'm already planning my next video. Is it gonna be something uh, like like what you did uh, with the uh, the intro? Yeah, I have I have an idea um, for something. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but uh, yeah, um, no, yeah. I course. just have to make it perfect because I am sure if I don't make this perfect, it's gonna be very mean and very bad uh, taste. But if I make it correctly, so it's fun. It has to be as fun as the oh no, I'm dropping it part. Otherwise, I'm gonna throw it out. But if it does, I think everyone's gonna fucking love it. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, just definitely let me know so, so I can actually go and watch that shit as soon as it's uploaded and everything. You can just subscribe to my channel. I already am. Fuck you too. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, who drew that Viking avatar for you? Oh, that's GP. He's in chat. Darkside Molino did. Oh, very cool. I I actually uh, I'm surprised you're not using that as uh, your avatar all over the place. But then again, how can you really resist Samaj art? No, see, it's it's tough. I I switch like on this card. I'm using uh, I'm using GB's art. Uh, yeah, Darkseid, you know you made it. You fucking you tiny bitch. You know you're a great artist. Uh, and then I like I can't because. When I get art from two talented people, I have to use all of it. Oh, yeah, no, of course. So like, my every... dream is that GP and uh, Simash, they fucking have a child, and it turns out to be the perfect artist. I, I don't think that'll happen. No, because both are guys. Shh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Samaj has a, a, a firm uh, stance <laughs> on that. Uh, no dudes. No, he said he said nothing up his butt. That was the only part he said to me. That's... <laughs> and I, that, I promised that's him that I would never put anything inside him. 
Accept your love. And maybe a finger. No. <laughs> no! Stop putting putting things in Smash. Oh, I, uh, hey, hey, hey. He doesn't know he doesn't like it yet. Stop putting words in my mouth. I want all the things. You get out when the stream ends. Not not before. I'm very tired right now. <laughs> I can hear that. Uh, uh, I got a I got a blister now on my dick. Oh my god! If I don't pop it, just <laughs> oh, no, I don't, no. I put a, put no. ointment on it or something. I don't have ointment. Did you, did you know I'm I'm right in the middle of the show right now, and I'm not gonna go ointment my cock. <laughs> I, I might were... actually have to. That was pissed <laughs> in my hand because that thing is burning like a motherfucker. <laughs> I just can't get over. I, I I walked the fuck back to the computer, put the headphones on, and you're screaming bloody fucking murder because you just spilt all over yourself. Oh fuck that! <laughs> I I like I said, I had actually run into the wall on my way back, and it, and it kind of like hurt my fucking shoulder. But when I heard you screaming in agony, I was just like, "What the fuck." Uh, I was trying to help you with echo localization. Yeah, uh, sure. Okay. Yeah, that totally makes sense. <laughs> you know what's impressive, though, considering I have a, a, a trans PP? It's not very big. I still managed to hit it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like shooting. Shooting womp rats from my speed. <laughs> I used to bullseye womp rat dicks in my <laughs> curry. <laughs> he just he drove by with a spoon and he was like fanging it. Curry. Did it. If anyone does animations and parodies and shit like that, for the love of God, animate that. I, I, <laughs> I you know what that. would be great, Smash out for that episode. Me sitting with Curry in my lap, just fucking cringing. <coughs> oh, oh, oh! That that reminds me. I am gonna talk to Samaj, uh, probably tomorrow. Hopefully, his vacation will be uh, well, not vacation, but his trip will be over uh, relatively soon. And I'm going to hopefully get him to do the thumbnail for this, which is, <laughs> I think it's going to be a naked you <laughs> sitting at a computer, just freaking the fuck out because you spilt shit all over you. And I'm just in the background, like peeking over to the side, like <laughs> the fuck's going on. <laughs> oh, the noise. Oh, that fuck. God damn it. I need to spill more on my grind. People love it. I have a webcam. Next, I can turn it on, and then suddenly it's an eight, eight, it's a super eighteen plus porno video. I, mm, that's okay. You know, there's probably going to be a bunch of people that are actually like, yeah, I, I just can't stop watching that fucking Danish girl actually spilling her damn curry all over her lap. Blisters, oh, yeah. blisters everywhere. Oh God, I my hand is the way it's just numb. I can't feel my hand right now. <laughs> Oh, the so things that means in 10 ourselves. minutes I can't feel my dick. <laughs> <laughs> See, Furry would watch that. Furry and Finley would watch that. See, that's already one, and that's not even a guy. And I was like, oh, that's hot. Wait, for, I didn't watch that show that you had Furry on. Furry in, in Finley is a, is a chick? Yes, it is. That don't, you don't need... Uh, just, just skip the beginning until Trippy arrives, because I... I, I Something happened to me that night, and I just fucking checked out. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, good to know that uh, furry is gonna, as a furry, also watch someone spill a hot soup on themselves and burn soup? themselves. I. That's what it, I said, furry. You're not a guy. I said you. You are a female. But I said furry. Don't don't hit me, furry. I am no well. Please hit me. Hit me. And I found out why it's called yiffing. Why? That's what they say when they want to fuck. Yiff, 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 yiff. 
Oh, that makes sense. I still do not understand the whole mascot fucking thing. I don't no, get see, why see, you would I, I, I want to try, but the suits are way too expensive, and I don't really want to borrow someone else. What? But why, why would you even want to try? Why? why not? Have you seen how amazing the costumes are? No. Like, it, it's not priority one. If I had to, I would do cosplay sex first again. Uh, but why not? I would try. No. No, 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 no. I, I, I'm not a fan of the whole mascot thing. Like, that, that weirds me if i'm just gonna go to if i go to like a furry convention i'm never going but if i go to a furry convention and i see a bunch of mascot costumes i'm gonna assume there's gonna be some kind of fucking kid show or 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 halftime show or something along those lines i'm not expecting these people to actually keep the costumes on and go hump each other in the fucking corner this just in constream announced going on a furry convention no, that no. We need a purple monkey suit for Smash. No, Smeggle, we need a red run for Smash. We need an orc costume, the most famous furry animal. The orc for Brockus, and we need a big swollen red cock for me. Technically, orcs are, in a certain way, a furry race. So people don't really know this all that often, but orcs are actually supposed to be anthropomorphic boars. <laughs> oh, I did not. Oh, every time you every time you cough, Brockus, it sounds like a girl. It's not me. That's my sister. Is that the, the estrogen kicking in? No, that's not as we estrogen. discussed on Twitter. You need, you need, you need help with that? No, I'll teach I'm you not, how to no. take it properly so you get as few side effects as possible. No. I'm not taking that shit. You need to stop. Are you female to male? I'm Are you like the God. reverse of me? Because I, your voice is very... It, it, except when you cough, that's very girlish. Uh, I, God fucking damn you, low fuck. No, none of that's true. Yeah, yes. Brock is self-admitted furry trans. No, fuckers. Okay. So the original concept of the orcs when it comes to fantasy novels and such like that, <laughs> uh, as depicted by uh early D D based um <laughs> uh fantasy novels back in like the 70s and early 80s and shit like that uh n not counting tolkien and and stuff like that but a lot of the <laughs> earliest lore for orcs is they're actually anthropomorphic boars they're essentially pig people which is one of the reasons why if anybody actually watches the anime or or even hentai that involve orcs they, for they the most people. part, they kind of look like pig people. There's a reason for that, because the earliest designs of orcs in a lot of fantasy novels and a lot of fantasy games and fantasy stories, they were essentially pig people. Now, truth be told, the actual orc origins is still based on dark magic. They weren't originally boars that eventually evolved into orcs. They have always been this way. They're just corrupted, evil, dark magic creatures. That's it. That's all it is. There wasn't a fusion of a human and a boar. There wasn't a sick bastard basically having sex with a boar. None of that stuff. They just technically boar pig people. But it was Tolkien that changed them to Dark Elves. And it was later redesigned to be um, a completely separate race on their own. And thus, went, that we now have like uh, variations of different orcs. One of my personal favorites, of course, the ones from uh, World of Warcraft. You know, the best orcs are from Warhammer. The best, I, I, best don't start from Warhammer. They well, would rape your World of Warcraft orcs. That's because they're twice the size of the Warcraft orcs. Yes. So you oh. have picked the wrong orc to back. I don't care. They're my favorite fucking race. And, and Boy, I ones... rape you. Boy. Oh, no. Hey. Here's a here's one of the problems I have with the orcs from fucking Warhammer. They're basically fungi. Yes, that's what. How is that a problem? <laughs> so stupid it's, it's weird it's fucking weird as shit they're they're basically a, a fungi race with no females yeah because they're created by the old gods to hold back the evil 
Yes. Uh, so they did it the, the, the best way. How do, how do you make sure no matter how many you kill, they never die? You make sure that when they die, they turn into spores and just spread everywhere. That that is that I think somebody I you know what I I've got to figure it out. I think George R R Martin was playing forty uh forty k way too much. Thus, he was experiencing the orcs and realized that's a good motto for a family. What is dead may never die. I yes, and I can't wait for his next book when the orcs arrive. Uh, when it turns out that the old generation of orcs in Game of Thrones just had died and now they have spring forth and a giant army of squick groats, squick grots, and orcs just rape everyone with their darker daggers. What? No, what? You're going too far. There are no orcs in Game of Thrones. Yet. When he gets bored and decides to add orcs, suddenly there are orcs. He's a sporadic motherfucker. You do it. You know how he writes books. I know how it's gonna end. What's what's gonna happen? I don't fucking know yet. <laughs> Give me six years. <laughs> that that's actually the one of the funniest fucking things about Martin's uh, writing. It's like I know how I want it to begin. I know how I want it to end. I have some pretty good ideas for some key points. Well, what happens in between that? <laughs> I have no fucking idea. I'm just gonna roll the dice and see what comes of it. Hey, imagine how many times he goes back and like, "Oh shit, that doesn't make sense. I have to correct these six chapters now." God damn it! I do not envy those fucking writers that actually do do things like that. Like, they write out chapter after chapter after chapter. They probably got like you know 24 chapters uh, good, and and it's supposed to be a book of like 30 chapters. But, you know, they're 24 chapters in and then all of a sudden it's something clicks in their head and they go back and they read to like, you know, chapter 12, 13 and 14. And suddenly they're mad because they fucked up big time. So now they have to completely rewrite those three chapters and try to somehow fit it all together. But then they realize they can't do that. So they have to rewrite everything from 12 and on. So that's an additional 12 goddamn <clears throat> fucking chapters that they have to completely rewrite and they're just sitting there wanting to fucking throw the, the computer out the window. I feel like I may have struck a chord with some writers. I'm, I'm, yeah. Oh, yeah, so, so have you been in that position before? I name a position I haven't been in. Okay, the one I just fucking got. <laughs> yes, I have. Oh. Right. It is nightmare some days to ride another clone. I completely agree because I have been working on this thing and I have the, I much like George R. R. Martin, I have 6,000 million pages of notes. I have to start the ending and I have few keyframes and I have to write it down. And I'm just sitting sometimes going, oh, today I, I have no idea what's going to happen, actually. I, I need to just sit an entire day and think about how uh, <laughs> Membop goes to Schlingling so it makes sense. It's, none of these are names in the book. I just needed someone. And that's the two things that popped in my head. She just throws out shit that is an amalgamation of various words in her language and hopes that it sticks somehow. Spadoogleflock. God damn it, Lord. I'm technically in that boat, but it's I, I'm actually uh, a little more on a uh, technical um, block. It's not so much that I, I don't know how to write the characters from beginning into the middle and then final at the end or anything like that. It's not that I'm having trouble with certain key points. It's not that I'm having trouble with writing the dialogue or anything like that. What I'm currently stuck on is the fucking art. Every fucking time I draw these characters out, I draw them haphazardly. I, I can't explain why everything comes out half-assed. 
but it looks like it's half-assed and I get fucking frustrated. Then I actually do it and it looks great. It looks fantastic. I'm very pleased with it. I can walk away and feel comfortable coming back to it the next day because that probably took all fucking day for me. So I'll just fucking put it off to the side. I'll get some sleep. Hopefully it's a little more than four and a half hours. Hopefully it's a little more than five hours, whatever the case is. Wake up the next day, look at the fucking pad and I'm just blank with ideas. And then the most annoying one of them all is, oh, I like that look better for the character with this design. I think I'll change it now. Fuck. Um, I know that. That's, that's, that's. No, no. Yeah, no, I don't know that. Um, Mine is just the complete inability. Like all my characters I have in my book, I, I know how they're going to look down to the fucking microbe detail every single dna of this um uh, of the creation and such and i know exactly how to look i have no possible way of actually executing this um it shouldn't be too difficult um obviously all you really need to do is just kind of take all your notes together start up that beginning slide into a key point uh, figure out how you're going to do that and stuff. You you definitely should plan a, a little bit ahead. But at the same time, just let the fucking words come out of you. That's all you really got to do. Like, it, it might take a minute. It might take a couple minutes. But it should just eventually start working. Um, that's just based on how it is with me with, uh, with drawing. Um, I'll yeah. struggle with an action pose for hours and hours. And then suddenly something will click and I realize, wait, I'm drawing it all wrong. Maybe if I if I just layer it this way, oh yeah, that actually looks aesthetically pleasing. Hurrah, I did it. Do you ever draw hentai? I don't, but I could. Why don't you? Oh, because uh, none of my stuff is ever meant to be full on hentai or anything like that. It's... Um, I'm trying to actually draw like legit manga stuff uh, that I can actually put on the web and not be restricted because it's got to be 18 plus. But at the same time, it is going to be one of those etchy harems. So you kind of have to expect titties and fan service. See, I just, I just, see, I really want to, and thanks to Samash and Kiki, I have gotten better at drawing. Um, but yeah, I, I really need to. I really want to draw hentai. I worked in the in Japan. I worked in a doujinshi show. A uh, show. It's all. Um. You work in doujinshi show. I I I work at the doujinshi show. I I work great honor. You no, know, uh, and so that was fun. But it's it's one thing is selling. No Jinchi to foreigners and go like you should buy this fucking yes to the gold fox. It's great. Buy it. Buy ten of them. Um the other thing is I want to be one of those guys who posts a picture of someone fucking or someone and everything is fictitious and they got a bone and I got a bone and everyone gets a bone. I want to be that person. Fair enough. I, I actually am gonna be uh uh, I think once the art has improved to a point where I'm quite pleased with it and I actually start producing the goddamn manga itself. I tried drawing a couple of pages the other day to like, you know, lay it out. And uh, the the placement for the panels was fantastic, I must say. I thought I did a pretty good job basing off of, you know, how much manga I have read. And then when I tried to draw everything on the inside suddenly my hand decided it didn't know what the fuck it was doing so i kind of walked away from that i haven't come back to it since but i am planning on eventually giving a bit more of fan service art to the people where i essentially just tweet out pictures of some of my female characters in incredibly lewd positions oh, that's incredibly hot yes Yes, it's I am looking very forward different. to watching your work and grabbing my penis. It is going to and be and brushing away curry and go. Yes, this is very good. And then insert things into myself. 
are are we both doing a Dr. Layman thing right now? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, fuck. it's quite fantastic, my dudes. Uh, this this artist here is uh, taking his time and giving us big fucking anime titties. And I, I just, I, I love anime titties. I am Dr. Gayman. <laughs> and the Dr. Gayman. Uh, no, yeah, uh, I, I think I'm going to actually have uh, quite a bit of a an audience that's actually enjoying it because I do have uh, big titty girls, um, smaller but still relatively big titty. And then, of course, you know, the whole flat is just as characters. Yes. Um, Brockus, Brockus is a uh, what's it called reviving the lolly genre guys don't worry he'll bring it back to what it meant before it turned pedo yeah that still grosses me the fuck out like it is it is gross the way it used to be was it was superior all it was was essentially just it was just a flat chested chick and that was it she dressed cute. She acted cute. Sometimes she'd be a bitch. Sometimes she'd be a sweetheart. Whatever the case was, it was nice. It and was still the... clear that they were, yeah, they were proper age. They weren't that. It was yeah, not as not 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 very tall, flat chested girls. That yeah, and that's it. Yeah. And it's like whoa, okay. Now it's just now it's not that. Now it's something else. Oh no now no it's no. Evil. It's... It, it's a roll of the fucking dice. Like sometimes you you roll a, a fifteen or higher, and you've got basically what you know the 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 lolly genre was, and then uh, you just gotta watch out because sometimes you will roll a critical one, and uh, you just fucked up big time because the thing you just stumbled upon is horrible, and you feel disgusting, and you end up setting yourself on fire. I think it actually now that I, now that I think about it, I think it did traumatize my friend quite a bit. So actually, okay, how I found out about what happened to the genre was a buddy of mine who loved going to uh, Dojinsi fucking sites. He he basically was looking up his three favorite genres. One of them was. Uh, <laughs> I think it was Gangbang. Another one was Harem. And then he also went to Lolly. Something along those lines. Well, he, he came across one. And the cover was very misleading. And so was the description. He was like, ooh, cool. So he started reading it. And about halfway through, I think, uh, it was probably like page 11. Halfway through, it took a horrible turn. And he read for a couple more pages and then he stopped and he just never went back to that website for like a really long fucking time. And he told me later on that week what had happened and he described it at length. And I was just like, okay, stop describing it, please. It was, uh, it was pretty fucked up. It is. I remember when, when, when I, um, and I found that one, uh, of that tag thing and I I never look back since and I don't want to talk about it because it freaks me out. Yeah, yeah, no. That's, I, that's how bad it was. I legitimately, I saw and I was like no way, no, I have to delete my PC now. That's no. No, right? no. No, yeah, no. Like uh, a, a term that I only recently learned this year is, uh, is called uh, Patenko. Uh, for those of you who might be curious. And it's basically what Lo-Fi and I were describing earlier. That's what the original version of the lolly genre was. It is still a person of correct age. They're just short and flat-chested because they got that whole undeveloped, uh, underdeveloped body type thing going on. Um, but they're essentially a flat-chested chick with a, with a bitchy attitude. That's all it is. That's what that's supposed to mean. Even then, I'm pretty sure you're going to get tricked. Just stay away from it altogether. Go just just look up the harem manga. They are so much better because big anime titties are everywhere. I don't know what's wrong with me. I I, I, I can't. 
not and love it's fantastic. Yes. And it's great. I'm not saying and it's not great. I'm just saying, like, I, I find myself fucking only almost exclusively watching the ones with the chicks with the big, big titties. Like, they are unnaturally large, and they should not move that way, but they do, and I am watching. Yeah, I want to watch hentai right now. You wanted to watch anime before we were fucking went live because we were talking about anime, and now you want to watch hentai. Yeah, what what I, can I bring up topic wise that you won't immediately want to be a part of now? See, now reason it's hentai is because uh, first of all, I also um, I burned my crotch and it turned me on a bit, and now it just <laughs> turns it so they, they want to watch anime and then they want to get this <laughs> over with get it to decide what it wants and just get it to go back to sleep fair enough but i'm pretty sure it's injured so touching it right now especially in that fashion is a bad idea i would fairy i would love to watch hentai with you i think that would actually be fucking adorable two two ladies just watching some raunchy ass hentai because you know the two of you would just put on bible black and just watch together Better yet, just stick to actual twisted legal porn. Yeah, I agree. Because hentai is, is legal though, so I'll stick to that. I'll just avoid one genre of it and just say, no, that's not happening. That's fucking weird. I like how he pointed out, sorry, UK, none for you. Uh, No, yeah, that's actually kind of funny because the BDSM porn and similar types no, no, simple things thing. as doggy style has been banned. Anal is banned. It, in the UK? Yeah, anal is banned. So, all the shit talking the UK has been doing with America, you guys now have some pretty anal retentive ass, no pun intended, uh, laws that are basically just as fucked up and stupid as the laws we have here in America. Because in Georgia, you're not allowed to butt fuck. Yeah, see that's that and that's like the biggest thing. Like it's like I I as far as I remember from what the the British guy I was talking to said is like they you can have um it if you penetrate the vagina in a wholesome way. So I, I think regular I think the problem with darker style is that it like uh, undermines it's not very um it's male chauvinistic because, yeah, you are dominating the woman and such. But one thing that's definitely, definitely banned was anal. And, and because that was, that was poopy. Oh, that's disgusting. That's unwholesome. Oh, down there. Uh, anal is banal. I love anal. Of course I do. I have no other host to put it into. Yeah, but here's the stupid thing. Um, if you go to any cam site you will at some point see uh, one of the cam girls just naturally get into that position for one way or uh, for one reason or another. Either they've got something stuck to the wall and they're having a blast with it, or they're just showing it off to the audience. Either way, it seems like a very natural fucking position for a lot of women to get into. So for people to ban that position seems very fucking counterproductive yeah and that's why i don't don't hold me into the whole in if all kinds of doggy is banned i know just but i'm unsure because i i do believe it is but i definitely know that anal is a no-go and that's what the main problem is like first it was like don't no bdsm and none of that because that's weird and it, it leads to violence and such and uh, that's just of course misinformed stupidity and then they go on and say no no anal I love this quote. Nut in the butt means no bump in the gut. That's that, sad, though. It, but no, I like it's, it. not, it's not sad. It's very, very honest. And it gives us exactly oh, what we true. need. Yeah. Also, it feels good. Yeah, there, there's that. But you know. Oh, Brock, it does, you know? <laughs> oh, Brock needs to tell a bedtime story. No, I've I've uh I've never actually. There's no bedtime story here. Put things into your 
Uh, anal beads. Don't pull them out like you're fucking starting a lawnmower, first of all. <laughs> Freak me out, especially, <laughs> especially after reading stories of people losing them. Oh, yeah. Have you ever heard stories like that? Have you ever heard stories of people losing their anal beads? Oh, I have not. Okay, well, I, I've actually uh, I've seen a couple of movies uh, where it, it was actually a topic at some point, but it wasn't necessarily like, you know, they weren't, it wasn't an actual porno where they were just flat out showing it or anything. But uh, there was this one movie I watched where a guy was getting a BJ from a girl, apparently, and he was, uh, he had anal beads shoved up his butt. But when she pulled them out, one of the beads was missing. And she makes the comment, oh, it looks like we've got a fallen soldier. He, his ass had essentially clenched, uh, clenched onto that one bead so hard that he, he fucking ripped it off the, the goddamn string. So it was up there for a while. And I think um, it was a good 20 to 30 minutes of him trying to get rid of that thing. But he eventually had to go to the hospital to have it removed. And I was just sitting here like, is that real? Is that a thing? I looked it up. Yeah, that does happen. It's fucking weird, and it makes me wonder why would you shove anything up there in the first place? Oh, that is definitely fears you have to uh, be 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 careful with, because uh, like, make sure whatever you put up there doesn't easily break. So, as fine as it is with the uh, fruit and vegetables. It's very if you really want to use a, a banana or a, a, <laughs> you or did not just say banana. I said banana and a karate. Uh, put it in a condom. <laughs> then you also make uh, clear up the loop thing. Uh, the same with a wax candle, just in case. Unless you use the big blocky ones that can't break because they're so fucking thick. If you do that, good for you. Well done. I'll salute you. <laughs> if you want to use safe anal beads, use some that you can act your asshole actually can uh, digest. So you might use like <laughs> sugar, sugary <laughs> anal beads. So at the worst case, if some of them break off, you will just digest it. So, um, I knew a guy who lost his foreskin to a pe Pepsi bottle. That's terrible. There, there's a guy in the chat, or uh, I'm assuming it's a guy, saying, my God, lawnmower pulling. Why do I now have the mental image of it popping out uh, out their mouth at high speed? Oh. <laughs> okay, look. It was a joke I had found on the internet. You know, don't pull out anal beads like you're trying to start a lawnmower because it was just a joke I had found on the internet, but it's fucking hilarious. Here's the funny thing. Shortly after finding that joke, I stumbled across a hentai where a dude does exactly that to a girl. The premise is, is that this girl and him meet each other uh, on the street and something falls from the sky. I think it's like a street light. Falls, hits her in the head, knocks her the fuck completely out. He takes her back to his apartment, which is very close by, and he's essentially taking care of her. He's a fucking perv who has never had a girlfriend and has a shitload of sex toys, but has never really done anything outside of like think that one time he had sex with one girl. She wakes up, she has amnesia, she has no idea what's going on, and he uses the opportunity to eventually have sex with her. At one point, he decides to start breaking out all his sex toys, one of them being an anal be uh, one of them being anal beads which he shoves up her ass, but then after a while, he eventually pulls them out like he's starting a fucking lawnmower. And she, the look on her face is that of like terror and ecstasy at the same time. What I found hilarious is I couldn't stop fucking laughing because in my head I'm thinking, this scene should have more blood, realistically. <laughs> God damn it. Don't fucking do that. Oh, fuck. I I have seen way too much shit. Uh, see, see what I... I've also had my foot up a guy's ass, literally. 
Annie, ja. stop. Oh, That's weird. Don't put feet. Imagine Bro. if you ate it. Bro, fuck. Why yeah. would you have a foot up a man's ass, literally? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> because Annie is into some weird shit. Look, I found a hat. You're not moving on from the human snowshoe you were just talking about. We're fucking describing this. Why? How? For how long? I have I don't questions. know. Ask Annie. I have never put my foot up someone's ass. It's Annie in chat. Oh, Annie's the one who did it? I thought you yeah, were I have the one not, who did it. No, I just read it out loud. I have not put anything up anyone's Oh, that's not true. I have not put a foot up anyone's ass. Oh, Annie, okay. No. Would I no. if I if I if I could fold no, I I don't I don't I think my feet are off of uh thing. I'm not gonna shove my feet up my ass, even if I could. It's don't I understand that there are people out there with some crazy fucking kinks, but don't give in to them sometimes because you don't need to turn your boyfriend into a fucking human sneaker. All right. Why not? It's just what not if, necessary. What if he wants? I, I'm, I'm unsure. Why? Why not? I don't know. Things could go horribly wrong. Maybe he didn't clip yeah. the nails that day. Oh God in heaven! Oh uh, yeah, but Brock is like if you if you better real nice girl or guy whatever and you said like and first you're like oh she was like oh you said progress you satisfied me every way you wanted and then you say um i will satisfy you any way you want and and then say would you please shove your foot in my ass why would you say no how would you deny them that they just did did everything you wanted and yeah. i don't want to do it the same back to them no i'm not gonna do that I'm not. I'm well, not, not. My foot is uh, gonna be way too fucking big for something you like that. You don't know how. You just met this girl guy. You maybe they have the most expandable asshole in the world. Maybe they okay. can literally swallow you. Well, Why then would I you not. I just met them. I have no obligation to actually, you know, really cater to their every fucking. Wow, win. Chad. Now we need to rename the the show. Brockus is not very giving. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I'll be right back. I'm going to meet myself for a couple minutes. He's going to go shove Stop. something inside his ass. He's going to see if his, his I, ass fits not, inside his foot. Stop. If his ass fits inside his foot. Stop putting words in my mouth, you fucking bitch. I'll what do you want here. me to put in your mouth then? No. Stop. Titties. But no. Also a pineapple and some huge toys. He really likes it. Oh, okay. my God, no. I'm good. I'll be right back. Talk, talk crazy shit. Okay, I'm sorry. Hey, Chad, what's up? What are we going to talk about? My name is Lofa. Hello. Okay, what's the biggest thing you have ever shoved inside yourself? Everyone, you have to answer. Anyone else getting a half? G yeah, fairy, it's way too late. I am basically touching base and playing with myself already. Just to the mere thought of... Uh, of all the things, actually. Hey, Moxley. Moxley, I know you're into horseplay. Do you want to come on and tell us about why uh, why you like um, horses so much? And a dick, a dick, they get big. That's true, Finley. If you have one, can you share? It's been a while, and I could, I could use some. But uh, now it's on Moxley. Moxley, why do you like horses so much? Uh, why do you dress as a horse? When you need to get sexually satisfied. Okay, I came back to that. What the fuck? We're talking with. I'm talking with Mark, and I'm trying to get him to explain to Chad why he, why he's so into horseplay. No, Moxley, I know you don't fuck horses, but I know you dress as a horse. You have shown me the costume. Are you um? Are you taking a, a possible Halloween costume out of context? No, no. Uh, he shared the. Do you want me to DM you what the costume he shared to me? I take that as a no. Okay. I, I guess so. Yeah. No. Don't don't show shit like that. Um, Annie's saying that uh, her ass is off limits to anything bigger than a thumb. It's not exactly something we needed to know, but 
Thanks for the knowledge. I asked to chat what's the biggest thing they have shoved up themselves. Oh, fuck. You said talk crazy, and I did. That's... I All right, fair see, enough. I, Moxley, yeah. I know. We're kidding. We're never going to let it down, though. It's so fun. It's like when Antoine is here, and we say he shoves machines up his asshole. Well, yeah, but that's true. Yeah, that's true. That's based on fact. What Moxley is doing is just a joke, guys. He doesn't dress like a horse. Yeah, yeah. Mo we're we're just we're just ripping on Moxley. However, anything we say about Antoine is one hundred percent true. Well, Annie, that's nice to know. If you ever visit, you can you can you can introduce something to my garage. Like, <clears throat> I think that is her way of saying. That's code for go ahead and put get that strap on on and I don't know. Ram the limousine into the garage. Yes. Gotcha. That's not code. That's just obvious. You're not the new well, Antoine. You're just a temporary one, Moxley. Yeah. You have the same amount of uh, leadership potential. <laughs> <laughs> is it is it because we will just relentlessly pick on him? Yes. <laughs> and he tries so hard and we're so mean. And he never got I want to do a proper show. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> you can you won't get a proper show. I think that was probably the funniest goddamn thing. He just he was like, I just want to have a, a proper show. You should have never invited any of us onto your streams. <laughs> He's known me for how many years and he knows that I cannot take shit seriously. For fuck's sake, there was an entire uh, proper villains uh, stream where the entire time I'm just basically low energy because for some reason I just I've been, I had been tired at that point. I think it was the lack of sleep. And I'm just saying some of the most depressing sounding shit in the world. One, one stream where you said depressing shit? Only one? Are you sure there's not more? I'm just referring to the one just before the Jim the Ape episode. Oh, wait, no, that was a cunt stream. Um, yeah, that was a cunt oh, yeah, the stream. prop villains before the Jim the Ape episode. Oh, shit. Yeah, because the Jim, uh, Jim the Ape episode was, um, was uh, Monday. But the proper villains, uh, the, the the previous Tuesday, I was just really low energy the whole fucking time. I, I, I don't get much sleep. What what about Bad Dragon? What the fuck is happening now in the chat? Talk about big things to shove up my butt. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, they have a crazy uh, selection. I, I know I have one, and I want another one, but they're expensive, and I don't have a job. Okay, but what do you have? I have the, the chance on flare. I don't know what that means. No, someone in chat does. Okay. Now, chat describes to Brockers what the chance on flare is. You're right here, and you can't even tell me. No, I don't want to. It's more fun if you read in chat what it is, because then you can go, Oh my god. Oh no. Aqua. <laughs> <laughs> I I kind of want that to be a lo-fi fucking t-shirt where it's just you. Uh, maybe Samaj can draw the, the face, but it's just you like looking really just like, Oh no, it's awkward. And it's, it's the, Oh no. Awkward. I might um, I might want to. That's not a bad idea. And I might want to take the Kadan face and put on one and slightly crook it and write, Hey, I'm Kadan! <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's her first merch t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that's the worst art in the world. That would be you know, fucking brilliant. Oh my god, you need to do that now. You need to... Oh, oh no, the best part is you have to actually have it over my fucking head, too. Like, that's... Oh, that's, oh, that's great! So you... Oh! Also, it says in chat what it is now. Uh, progress, what, what the chance oh, of that who, is. Who actually... Uh, a rather girthy, unflared... Oh, god. 
It's def- 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 the flared ones are just impossible. I can't. I, that, that's beyond my knowledge how to. I look at it and I go, that's, no, that's weird. And also, they, they on Bad Dragon, they have a turtle penis, and that's just fucking creepy. God damn it. Why do I feel like we need Opal? No, we do not need Opal in this conversation. She also wants one. I don't give a shit. I'm mad at her right now. I I broke one of mine. Why? When I moved, how? When I moved to Japan. Over how do you? Years? How do you? Oh, wait, no. Uh, vibrator or or dildo? A dildo. A dildo. A dildo. Um, yeah, I had I had it for like two two years, and I it just it. I was like, oh my god, this is the last hurrah because I'm going to throw it out before I go to Japan. So I used it so much and it just fucking broke. Uh, all right. Yes, well, they do. Torsten, any one of them I would like, except the turtle one. That one's fucking free. But any single one of them I could live with. Ex- yeah. But Lo, uh, honestly, I gotta ask the question: Why did you go with that one for Bad Dragon specifically? Do you really want to feed into the stereotype that people from Denmark are a bunch of horse fucking rednecks? I have never heard that stereotype. Oh, well, it's so I'm a thing now. That stereotype is definitely not a thing. No, it's it's um, because I saw a video about it, and like that looks really good. I I want one. I want one. All right. You back then, thankfully, I lived in my own apartment, so I didn't have to hide it as much. Holy shit! Oh god, I should have done this a lot earlier, but I I forgot to mention to everybody that I do have the streamlabs open just in case they actually want to donate. Donate so we can buy Brock's first bat dragon. I don't. Uh, no. No. Rocket, do you want uh, you can get uh, do you like uh, Stranger Things? I've never watched the show. Okay, well. Uh we can give you a pack. You get the season, um the entire first season, and you get the demigorgon bad dragon dildo to go with the show. I'm not sure I want to know. Nor do I want That's to go the monster from the Stranger Things, and they made a pe- they made a dildo. Oh, of course, oh, of course. Hey, fuck you, niggas! I fuck one horse, and then everyone in my country fucks horses. Fuck you. Oh, are All you right. from Denmark? That's someone who's apparently decided to share a little too much information with us. But yeah, okay, we'll just. Kind I of. know that joke. It's like, oh, I built this, I built that, but you fuck one horse and your title is the f- horse fucker. <laughs> yeah, well, they have tentacles as well. One of the tentacles is definitely better than the other ones. Let me see. I think it's the... I think it's the Ika. That's the best one because of the shape. Mm, let me see. Yeah, that's also the taco. Taco. Oh, God. Now we're just talking about dildos. Do you want to switch subject? I was willing to talk about anime, but apparently we segued into a bunch of other crazy shit, which eventually led to fucking hentai. Yeah, like the anime segued into hentai, and that segued into what Britain banned of porn, and that segued into what you put in your butt, and that segued into um, what I want to put in my butt, and that segued into Bad Dragon. I think... uh... I think the 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 next show I do on Cunstream to test is going to be called the Late Night Segway because that seems to be all we fucking do now. This is like here's a topic, we're going to discuss it for five minutes, and then we're going to segue into another topic that's partially relevant, and then we're going to segue into another topic that's partially irrelevant to the previous topic, not so much the first one though. And it's just I have a great. Great. Giant you circle. Hear the, what the fuck? Can you hear the knocking sound in the background of my house? No, no, it's gone. Oh god. Okay, so let's let's uh, ask chat chat. What do you want us to talk about? That's much easier. That day. That's yeah. right. That's super cheesy and super easy. Yeah, you can even yeah, give us a topic for tomorrow when we do this again. 
Oh, yeah. See, I'm still not sure I can. And it depends on how busy we get. It is the one one day where the family usually demand depends on me. Hmm. Okay. Uh, but well, well, we will work out the details later if we want to do it again tomorrow or, or whatever. <clears throat> That's that's the whole thing. As I said, uh, it's un- I know I should be able to Friday because I get home from work and I just want to sit down and do stuff. And they're usually okay with that. But Saturday, they usually get really angry if I start doing something too middle of the afternoonish, unless I work out very early and do everything beside before that. Oh, fair enough. Apparently, uh, Furry is saying you already know where my mind is. I'm guessing sex. Yes. Very, I'm very interested. If you want to meet up one day and we can do stuff, I'm okay with that. Okay, well, earlier Furry said that, that she's apparently not into the whole mascot sex stuff. I don't... What other kind of freaking uh, furry is there? Oh, there, there's the different kinds of... Um, like, depends on how much. Some have what ears and tail... Some have the legs, the arms, the head, and the tail, but not the body. And then there's the the big the big fursuit, big one. There might be more, but that's the ones I remember that uh, Finley talked right. about. Okay, fair enough. I'm assuming then if she doesn't do the mascot, she's the one in the middle where it's like, okay, I put on the ears, I put on the gloves, and then the boots. Type thing. I think it's woman. more that uh, she doesn't do the mer suiting. That that's the sex suit. That's the mer suit. That's what that's called. Uh, then, I so I think it's more that she doesn't do that. Yeah. Just cat ears and a tail, and I'm fine. I don't. I don't hey, need anything garbage else. Garbage saint. Where are you from? Which which country? Oh, is it Britain? Because we told because your country's rotten. Be Britain or oh, is it what what country have we defamed? Bring it, bitch! I'll fight you. I'll slap you around with it. I will spill boiling hot curry on you. I'm good at that. <laughs> See, you are from Denmark. I can't defame that country garbage because I'm from Denmark as well. Hi. Good day. Hi. Hi. Hi, garbage saint. Yeah, it's for Denmark. Let's give his loss. Why are you doing this? I can't. I don't understand that language. I don't speak that language. Why would See, you? Skal vi ikke snakke om, hvor dope Rockers er? God damn it. Rockers ved overhovedet ikke, hvad jeg snakker om. Og han kan slet ikke følge med. Og det er kun dig og mig, Garbens, sagde Der kan følge med lige nu. Haha. Okay. I have no idea what you just said. You can at least spell it correctly, Garbens. It's not, jeg dræber dig i din satan. Men mindre du immigrant, så er det. Unless you're an immigrant, it's, jeg dræber. I don't know what just happened. Oh, that's very wrong, Garbage Saint. He said, "I'm, I, I'll kill you." Say, uh, "You, you devil, I'll kill you." Or, but he misspelled "kill," so it's yeah. Okay. He What's basically he to said, "I kill you, you devil," and I corrected it to, "I will kill you, you devil." So he's he's a bad Dane right there. He's a bad Danish person. Also, I told him I will I would break his legs. <coughs> okay. So there's two Danes basically just fucking threatening each other right now. Uh, um, GB, I'm talking about uh, just Danish things. I'm a black Muslim woman. Don't correct me, racist. I don't. I don't believe you, Gabi Zane, because you would never go to this stream if you were a black Muslim woman. We don't have to be here. You would be too busy blowing yourself up. But you can't afford to bomb because you're poor and black. Now I want to know more about fucking what Furry does specifically. Yeah, Furry, we want to hear about you. We want to hear about all your kings, Furry. Yes. T- t- I need well, not, all, to, uh, not all of them. I all just of need them. To know. Every single one of them. What exactly like do you wear 
for the 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 furry sex and uh yeah that's i think pretty much where my my only curiosity is right now i just want to talk about sex i need Let's something to masturbate to. Let's talk about you and me. We are all perverted people, I swear. But what in the butt? I fully agree. Finley. It's the best bit of things. <laughs> See, I'm a furry, but don't need clothes for rude. That's what I said. She doesn't fuck. Wait, what? Uh, she doesn't fuck in a... Uh, in a suit. No, that's what I mean. Like, okay, so she doesn't do the mascot thing. No, so maybe she just fucks as a regular person. Maybe she's not in her fursona, no matter how little it is at all. Maybe she just, like me, wears a tail and some ears sometimes and pretends to be a naughty kitty. But you don't have to be a furry to do that. Okay, so she has the stuff, but she doesn't wear it when she bangs. All right, fine. That seems kind of boring. Like, why would you get the suit if you don't want to wear it while you bang? No, because that's a different suit, Brockers. The suit, there's a fur suit and there's a mer suit. The mer suit is the suit designed for fucking and being a fursona. The fur suit is not designed for fucking. There are too many goddamn things to this. See how much Finley educated me in fur. I'm so proud. Thank you, Finley. You're great. I, I feel like it's just. It's she over- doesn't even have a suit. Oh my god! But it's like complicated unnecessarily. You just say that because you're tired and you're old. Mostly just tired. You smell like fart. I probably do. I've been farting in this garage for a while. Good god! <laughs> I just want to go to sleep. Oh, I'm tired as well. Oh well, it's actually getting closer to that uh, that, that time where we actually will eventually shut it down, but not for another twenty minutes. All right, furry, fine. Answer this one. Are you hot, furry? Are you hot? I don't care, furry. Unless you weigh seven hundred pounds, then I don't want to. I'm not into whale sex. I don't need a fucking dicking. I need. I, I fucking. I need vag sex, pretty soon. Or, well, sex in general, I guess. So, yeah, may, maybe. You know, what? No, see, yeah, see now. You just need, I know, Brock, as if if a tight little butthole games you and said, oh, fuck me. I just like, I just need to okay. know inside of someone. That's, that's pretty much where I'm at. Okay. Fred, your butt. She, she sees herself as average. All right, well... Unless you've actually shown your face, I would say pics or get the fuck out, but no, nah, I'm not gonna push it any further. I don't care. That's no, that's very mean. Yeah, I, I don't I, I suddenly lost I, Yeah, don't tired. don't don't antagonize the audience. I'm not gonna antagonize the nice. audience. Well, wait, you were earlier saying that Moxley puts on a horse suit. That's You're, Moxley's that's... my friend. I can say what I want about Mox. Ain't it right, Moxley? All right, fair enough, fair enough. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna push it further. Like I said, I, I pretty much saw that I was kind of sounding like a dick, so I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna stop sounding like a dick, and I'm just gonna go back to talking about I need to get laid. Ah, okay. So we have 18 minutes, and we need a new topic that's not about shoving PP into hole, holy. <laughs> Did you just? Did you just at me? No, I I just I laughed through my nose. <laughs> Homer. Brockus. Oh, oh, here's a here's a decent topic. Yeah, Brockus. Uh, what would be your favorite genre of anime? Mm. 
I don't know what those noises are. I feel like it's you trying Homer. to think, but you're not. Homer, I don't know Homer. I don't <laughs> what what are you are you trying to be Marge right now? Yeah, I'm 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 Dane March. I'm I'm Darch. No, 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 no. No. no uh, I'm failing miserably. My... Homer, fuck you, Homer. I have cancer, Homer. Hey, Richard, that's just that's a very tough thing because that's that's tough because okay here's the funny part furry has answered by saying hentai is her favorite genre of anime see here's the fucked up part that actually does count see then i have to say the same thing it is the one i i watch the most if not, it's food shonen. That's my second favorite genre after hentai. Food shonen. Food shonen. Yes. Other than Food Wars, what other show is a food shonen? Uh, that's multiple. Um, yeah, let me find them. I have the list right here. We have Food Wars, of course. We have Yakita to Japan. That we, sounds pretty retarded. We have Toriko, Toriko, of course. Uh, then we have Cooking Master Boy. Uh, what do more do we have? Uh, I'm I'm trying to remember. Okay, okay, fair enough. Food yeah. shonen is confusing, but I guess it really is an actual growing yeah. genre. Okay, fine. How about this? Your favorite non hentai related genre. Etchy does count in this because it's not people fucking, it's just girls getting naked. My my favorite genre that's not hentai. Yeah, that's non hentai. I food guess shonen. yours would be food shonen. Yes. Yeah. I I think mine is actually a combination of three. Like if I can get all three into one show, I am a happy man. Which is essentially, um, I, I want comedy and harem, and I think with harem you automatically do get etchy, but it's not always necessary. But I would say comedy, harem, shonen. Those are my three favorites, only because I love comedy shows. I love comedy anime, like um, uh, Baka Test or. Uh, uh my bride is a mermaid these are two fantastic fucking amazing uh comedy anime they're, they're mainly supposed to be a comedy they i seriously if you've never watched my bride is a mermaid you think it's super girly you think it's gonna be just it's a fun as fuck. it is so fucking funny it's also brock is um, you like that kind please go watch baka girl what's baka girl Idiot girl. I don't think I ever saw that. It's so fucking fun. Oh. It's about the most. Uh, I think it has another title. Aho girl, yeah, Aho girl. It's called. That's not helping. Idiot girl. It's not I mean, helping. It's, Tell me the fucking about, show. It's about the stewardess fucking. Yushiko Hanabatake is an idiot beyond all belief, somehow managed to consistently score zeros in all her tests and consumed by an absurd obsession for bananas. Her senseless acts have caused even her own mother to lose all hope. One only person is up to the task for keeping her in sentence check as childhood friend Aku Akuru Eikun Akutsu. That's it. That's the entire plot of the entire show and every single episode is fucking hilarious. All right. Yeah, that actually does sound like something I would definitely want to watch. Aho girl is she is incredibly stupid. It's, but it's in an endearing way. So she's she's fun. She's consistently fun food in the oh, show. Fair. You never get tired of her stupidity. Yeah, Sunsetto is a character from my uh, my my bride is a mermaid, and she is an airhead. She's she is dumb, but in such a cute and endearing way that you you can't really ever be mad at her. Um. Oh, and the 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 reason why I was going into comedy. Um, I fucking love comedy anime. 
when you lace comedy anime with an actually good harem story, dear God, the comedy is amped up to levels that previously might not have existed. Um, as I was describing to you earlier, My Bride is a Mermaid is technically a harem. Really, when you boil it down, it's five different women who actually have an attraction to the main protagonist, the main male lead, except three of them are consistently in the dark about it and never really talk about it, although one does attempt at one point to fail miserably and have a secret lesbian personality. But three of them essentially do nothing with their, their feelings for the main lead, and it boils down to two girls fighting over one guy. That's all it is. That's not a harem. That's just a love triangle. Harem is three women or three men vying for the, the attention of one individual person. It has to be three or more or it doesn't work, which is why you can technically call it a harem, but it's not really a harem. And uh, it's done so fucking good, so well. Like, every individual story has, has a, a great beginning, middle, and end. It's fucking... Ah, uh, I cannot uh, recommend this enough. If you want a good fucking laugh, watch this show. Watch out, girl. I'll, I'll probably go watch that. Uh, you have to. It's so. I think every episode is 10 minutes, and it's just fun. Yeah. I recommended Baka and Tess to you. But apparently yeah. you couldn't get past the fucking the the, the background dots. No, I actually I, I watched the Carl Moore episode and I actually got really fucking tired of it. I think bought it outplayed its 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 concept extremely fast. Like this is just boring now. I actually got bored with it a couple of episodes in. I can't believe you you just did you not see the part where uh Akihisa cross dresses? No. Oh, uh, it's one of my favorite episodes. <laughs> we get Brockus loves orgies. I uh, I wouldn't go that far, but there there have been a many a time where I wouldn't stop watching fucking like orgy hentai and shit. I would just type into the search bar orgy, and at least seven different fucking titles would pop up that I I would watch a lot. Sometimes they're fucked up, and I, I feel very fucking disgusting and dirty after I'm done watching it. Yeah, I... Mm, mm, I just watched the cross-dress scene. I'm watching it right now. It's cold. <laughs> it's, it's fucking hilarious because the girls lose their shit at how fucking attractively um, girly he is. When he's cross-dressing, and like, it it becomes this sort of identity crisis for him because he wants to be a guy, but he has to be a girl, or he dies. I think I just need. I it sounds like I have to get to that point. I, I I'll try. I'll try getting to that point. At the moment, it's not very. In, it's it's kind of, and it's just it's okay, but the. None of the characters are really that funny. Uh, well, their main character is fun because he's a moron and he's school special for that. But I don't, at the moment, couldn't. I'm only a few episodes in, and oh, it's gonna take me a while to no. get that. Hideyoshi is the ultimate trap in the sense that Hideyoshi is constantly telling people. Well, I wouldn't say constant, but every episode he reminds people that he is a boy, but he's so fucking girly looking. No one believes him. Even the <laughs> artists and writers had to write in scenes to censor his man chest to make it seem like he had legitimate women's breasts. And it's even funnier because you realize why he's the ultimate trap. Because he's the only one trying not to convince you he's a woman when in fact he is a man. He's the only one in that world trying to tell you no, no, no. I have a dick, bro. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah, he reminds me of another uh, anime character where it just turns out it's the exact same thing. It's just the same thing, but they had to do the same thing. But it's it's fun. It's fine. It's fine. It's it's not bad. It's I just don't find it 
that interesting at the moment. Oh, fair enough. Baka um, Test is, uh, I, I personally love that anime because it reminds me of a buddy of mine. He was the one who actually turned me on to it. And um, good God, I, I just couldn't stop laughing because I'm just like, I swear, you remind me of Hideyoshi so far. No, uh, it was, uh, he reminded me of um, Yoshi so goddamn much. I was just like, how are are you certain you weren't actually followed by Japanese artists to basically get your personality drawn into a character? Believe it or not, that was actually the uh, very anime that inspired me to create the um, the current just, web manga. Just, that I'm if you do the shadows the same way as Bakatist, I will no, 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 it's not the kill same. you with your book. It's not the same art style. If you want to know the kind of art style I would be doing, it's uh, more, it's closer related to high school dd seasons one two and three laced with some sao-esque kind of art style kind of like how sao does their hair uh their hairstyles and and their eyes and shit like that i'm trying to lean more towards that but with the overall look to be more high school dd seasons one two and three Okay, but I, I look forward to it. It's just I think that might be the one. Uh, like like the the breaking point for me is that it's okay, <laughs> and I bet it'll, it'll be funnier. But at the same time, I have to look at something that legitimately annoys my eyes every time I look at it, and that is the shadows. And I can't. I am. I'm sorry. I'm a graphic. I'm an art whore in that i can't that no no it's it's uh, fair enough everybody has their own like you know their their breaking points and their their do's and don'ts and shit when it comes to art uh let's see i think there's one other anime about a sensei with glasses uh that has the same issue sayonara setsubo sensei um does something similar to that and i can't it i can't oh okay so I think that's just my that is legitimately my my biggest gripe with stuff like that is oh yeah I think it does uh so they have the patterned uh yukata on and and stuff like that and when they move around the pattern stays in place and it moves around on the thing and that just that just, I Ooh, my eyes <laughs> oh my God. No. kill me you just been triggered uh, no, actually, I, I have to agree with you there. I, I lose my shit every single time. It's It can be cool at first, but when you start to see a lot of anime are doing the exact same thing, like the Yukata or, or Kimono is basically, um, it has a pattern on it, and you can tell that they artistically just removed all of the detail of the fucking kimono or or yukata itself just so they can put a layer underneath it of the pattern that they want it to have so yeah. there's like this fucking flower pattern and that one flower that started off on the left shoulder just shifted into the fucking tit and it's just like what happened she turned yeah. right uh, she turned left and all of a sudden now it's on her boob yeah and i i just found a clip to check if that was in fact if i remember correctly and I'm triggered now because yes, I did. And this entire girl's uh, yukata with flowers—they are just switching position. They are uh, moving off her body, and it's annoying. Yeah. And and I think and I've heard this uh, Sayonara Setsuboy Setsubo Sensei should is apparently awesome and really funny. And I can't watch it because I get annoyed. And I think it's it's just the same thing with Bakatist. I think that's unfortunately it. So I, I actually watched an anime series not too long ago. It was a, a bit of a harem shonen. Uh, and, um, God damn you I, and your fucking harem. Are you kidding? Jesus Christ, Brockus. Uh, you like, you can okay. barely mention it. Calm, calm down, calm down, calm down. God damn it. I actually was tricked into watching this because of the description. Sometimes I don't read the whole description. Anyways, I watched this, and I can tell you right now, stay the fuck away from... Uh, Samurai Girls and Samurai Bride because I later found out that Samurai Bride was just a continuation of Samurai Girls um, I never watched the whole thing because I couldn't get past episode 2 
because the art style pissed me the fuck off. Everything was like this horrible art. Um, like it's supposed to be traditional Japanese fucking art and everything like that for backgrounds and, and a bit of the foreground and everything. The effects were just hot garbage. I, I hated everything about this and stuff. It wasn't until after I rage quit on fucking episode two that I actually discovered that it was a fucking harem. And I was just like, all right, you suck. Fuck you. I just, I couldn't get over the goddamn ink blotches everywhere. Fuck. Uh, no, that's just like, and I think we talked about this before on one of your streams. It's, the, I think the ultimate as like with movies, they can be anime can be so bad they are fun. Like the schlock factor points in. But if you have a a bad artistic thing, like in Axel World, where it's everyone else is a regular human being except the main character who's a fat little piggy bastard. It's oh, just, yeah. oh, fuck yourself. Fucking fix that art shit, you cunt. You yeah. talentless hack. Or, and again, uh, that guy did go and make uh, Sword Art Online, so that would definitely, definitely uh, explain why he's a talentless hack. Oh, fair enough, I guess. I, I don't... I actually rewatched SAO Season 1 uh, a few days ago, and uh, I, I kind of... I'm starting to slowly understand the hatred for uh, SAO. Not necessarily that I fucking hate SAO. I actually am still a fan. I do still like a lot of the action, a lot of the stories, and so on. Um, but the writing would take me out of the fucking show a lot. Yeah, that's the main problem. It's 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 written by a retard. The art is fucking incredible. There is some good episodes, legit, where apparently he can write for one episode, and then he's just like, Duh! gets a brain tumor halfway through writing, and it just turned complete. It's fucking trash. The entire well, thing, oh my God, and it gets worse. Here's I fucking hate song. Fuck. Okay, calm down, calm down. I, like I think first boy. Oh, God damn it, I fucking hate it. I need I... it. To, it needs to die. And people who defend it, it's like people who defend Destiny to the game. I want you all to stop giving money to fucking cunt companies and go kill yourself instead. Okay, I I think what happened for me when it came to the the the, the bad writing and stuff. Throughout the show, from episode one all the way to whatever, there's a clear and obvious time lapse happening. They, between each episode, several amount of time for a certain portion of it has actually happened. And it even shows on the screen when it opens up and everything. It tells you, like, this is the, the time and date of when things are happening at this point and so on and so forth. So there's an actual time lapse <laughs> happening, which gives you the ability to actually accept the fact that Things have happened. He's at a specific <laughs> level. Cool. Moving on. But right about the time that you see Kirito meet up with Asuna again, when, when they have their uh, semi-bonding sort of uh, uh, episode starting off, Egil basically gives a little bit of dialogue at one point, essentially saying that uh, Asuna and Kirito can't stop fighting with each other whenever they're actually doing strategy or or, or battle plans, whatever the case is, they're always going uh, head to head with each other, which is kind of weird because Aegil remembers they were actually pretty cool when they had initially met. Yeah. That's when the writing starts getting bad for me because every fucking character at that point suddenly stops, forget, uh, su suddenly stops remembering how the world works. The stronger you are, the more valuable you are. Kirito consistently was a higher level than almost anyone in that fucking story. Can I can I note in something on that? They say that. They also he says in the fucking anime that his friend Klein is almost as strong as him, and he says that Asuna is stronger than him. And it's never shown. So he's literally spouting nonsensical bullshit. And That's... the entire game they're set in as well is so badly designed. And ah, uh, okay, no, fair, fair, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, you don't like the fucking design of the world. Look, calm the down. Bullshit. Calm the fuck no, down. When you know, uh, no, Jesus Christ. Look, I'm gonna explain. The actual translation 
for all of that, I don't believe it's supposed to be that Asuna is actually stronger than him or that Klein is almost as strong as him. Okay, Klein is consistently a lower level than Kirito. Asuna is supposed to be just under Kirito. The reason why is because the climax of the Aincrad stuff is clearly Kirito is the one who got the dual wielding fucking um uh shush. he's the one who got the dual wielding skill. It's the one thing that Kayaba put into the system that was supposed to be able to beat the sword and shield system, which is supposed to be the, the unbeatable fucking uh, combat system. It was designed this way. Kayaba specifically was give the, the system was to automatically give it to the best character for that skill set. Asuna clearly could have taken, if she was stronger than uh, uh, Kirito, the dual wielding skill. She didn't. She didn't at all. And it wouldn't have actually affected her fucking speed with her rapier and everything like that. If anything, it would have just allowed her to have dual rapiers and make her faster. Because we see it with Kirito with his two single blade swords. My point is, Kirito is consistently the strongest character in the game. But right about the time he meets up with Asuna again, when we establish that he is a member of the front lines, he's he's actually a part of the assault team, all that stuff. And him and Asuna are building up their, their relationship, which, by the way, if anyone actually says that that is a forced relationship, you're clearly not paying attention. You're just pissed off because you don't like Asuna for whatever reason. Or you don't know. Like see, that's the one reason. point. The episodes where they focus on just Asuna and Kirito, like in the fucking cabin in the woods shit. That's fine. I have no issue with that. So that's when he suddenly remembers how to write a fucking story. And now he says in the Japanese version, Kir Kirito says in the Japanese version that he, Asuna, is stronger than him and fucking stupid. It's stupid. It's not that, forgivable. Okay, that, that right there, that is him fucking up his own goddamn thing because yes. that makes no sense. If Asuna was really stronger than Kirito, then Asuna would have gotten the dual wielding skill, but she didn't. No, she because then, then the fans go and explain why. Oh no, she didn't want it because she did not do it. No, and that's another fucking point. She of the didn't even fucking... want it. It just showed up in his skill box. She didn't fucking see it all of a sudden and just reject it. No, it just popped up. The system, the cardinal system, automatically choose who it was. The cardinal Can system it... is a fucking constant learning uh, AI. You want to hear something else that's uh, horrible and and stupid? Is the guy who who wrote this? He clearly doesn't understand um, anime. Uh, no, how games work? Did do you have you have you noticed how many sold copies of the game there is in the anime or in the manga? No. This is the most expensive game ever created at this time in the fucking anime. It that's the story. Ten thousand sold copies. That's it. Um, how are you gonna run that? That's stupid. It's stupid. The entire okay, thing is badly okay. written, and I want the guy to die. He needs to die. He's a bad writer. I hate him. Okay, I, I again, lo fi. This is when I say that the when, when I when I'm specifically talking about the bad writing, I'm not talking about the obvious fucking fuck up details. Like in the original translation, Kirito says that Asuna is stronger than him. That makes no, no I, sense. I'm talking Clearly about the entire thing. That. Because it's not well written. The characters are not well written. Actually, they are. No, they are not. Yes, they are. Kirito the... is not well written. The main character, Asuna, yeah, why? His friends, Klein, sure. Kirito, the main character, is not well written. How is he not well written? He's a terrible character. How? He changes. Oh, my God. I... Mm. You need to give details, or I will not accept your fucking words. It's as simple as that. You are making an assumption. I'm asking you to clarify your Give not. me a fucking chance to calm down so I can talk. I have okay. to translate every word I say from Danish. <laughs> because I need to translate this in my... God damn it. Ah, it's... Two seconds, Ragus. Yeah, that's so. That's true. He's He is... Oh, my God. I In the first four episodes, I really liked him because he seemed like... Uh, uh, like a decent character and such and until when he loses his first guilt in the dungeon that's really good and he gets so sad 
and then he just loses everything. He has no personality. <laughs> What's his personality, Bragas? He's a solo player. Is that a personality? Yes. What no, do you think not. I am when I play World of Warcraft? I, I'm in I'm in two different guilds on two different servers, but I almost never do anything with them. They're never online at the same time I am, so I That's just play the fucking game on my own. That's not a person. It's not a personality to be a solo player. That's not a personality. How is it not a personality? I keep to myself. How is it? Explain. How is it a personality to be a solo player? <laughs> the character traits you have. Look, lack of clear motive, no actual okay. character development, how OP for not, no clear reason. How does he not have a personality then? Like his personality is. Tell me. How I am Edgy. I'm. I am doing it. I'm doing it right now. Hello, my name is Edgy. I clear. I dress in black. I love Asuna, and I like this AI girl. Okay. That's his personality. That's Hold not on. a personality either. First of all, first of all, let's uh, let's let's take Yui and Asuna out of the equation because your problem with him starts before the two of them come back into the story or ever enter into the story. Yeah, he has no personality. He has no personality, and you're not explaining how. Because he has, I just said he has. Oh, he has no clear motive. He's he doesn't develop much as a character. He be, after the first four episodes, he's st almost stopped completely developing. He's like, oh, I gained a skill. Oh, I'm the sad broody thing. <laughs> That's him. That's his entire brain set. And True. you say his his personality is that he's a solo player. That's not yes. a personality either. That's not that, a personality. That that sums. That's a personality up. trait. That's, That's not a personality. Up. That sums up his personality. That, that sums up why he is the way he is. He just witnessed someone he is actually, he was in love with. He witnessed Sachi die before his very own eyes. He watched he, his friends die before his very own eyes. And when he told the guild leader about what had happened, the guild leader fucking committed suicide before his very own eyes. He basically felt extremely guilty because he blamed himself for their deaths. Okay, from so now you have forward, motivation for him being being from, sad? From but that point what's his forward, personality? From that point forward, he tried everything he could, or he did everything he could, to keep everyone, everyone at arm's length. It wasn't until he met up with Asuna again that he realized he couldn't keep her at arm's length. He actually had to gradually bring her in because he realized she followed through with the very advice he was actually starting to follow at one point, but wasn't following anymore because he needed to keep people away from him. He believed he was cursed. He's a beater. He's the beta player that fucking everybody was hating on from the very start in episode two. He's the fucking guy who was claimed to be a cheater, even though... All he's doing is using the system to its fucking rules. He's not cheating. Yeah, so he's not hacking into anything. He's just being himself. But he's consistently being isolated by people around him because of who and what he is. What's his personality and what you just said? Besides personality trait as a loner? That is a personality. A loner is a personality. It's, it's not just a personality trait. That's you have to have. You have to have more than just that. He also decided to become the Black Swordsman, where he ended up actually meeting uh, with uh, what's her fucking face, the 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 young so, girl. Describe you, Kirito is your friend. Describe him to me. What is Kirito? Describe him as a person. He is just as bland as the half the most of the characters in A Phantom Menace. Hold on. He is OP guy, edgy bitch. I, and I that's why that's why I get so angry because in the first four episodes until he lost his fir first guild and the guy committed suicide I fucking loved that I was what? like oh my god this has character development and then he stopped okay and then his best character like oh my god I figured out some more shit to do with the system oh my god I gained a trade in this battle design shitty game and See, then I, this I, season two comes out and is even worse here's because then he's in a completely new game and now he's still OP okay, why is he still OP? Lo Lo-Fi, calm the fuck down for two goddamn minutes. Lo-Fi, I'm asking you to tell me how he's devoid of a person. I just realized this. I asked you to tell me how he's devoid of a personality. And your response is, how does he have a personality? 
You, if you have yeah. to show he doesn't have a personality, I'm trying to actually describe what is going on with Kirito. What is the character? And I'm saying, what is I'm happening. saying, no, that's his. That's his motivation. That's not his personality. His motivation is he wants. He doesn't want people to die, and he wants to sulk in the fucking corner alone. His motivation is to survive and eventually beat the game. That's his motivation. It's never changed. That was his yeah. motivation from the start. That's been his motivation the entire time. And that was still yeah. his motivation even after the game, continuing on into Alpha. And so what's his personality in this? Because you... God damn, yeah, melancholic depression is his personality. That's a great personality. Everyone's pointing out in chat as well. He's, he, his, his role is a loner. He's, it's not his personality. You can describe even... a person's personality with words. You... Give me Asuna's personality. You seem she to have is... only a problem with Kirito having no personality. Everybody else apparently has personality. Give me. No, Give I have never. Awesome now you are putting words. Have I said they had personality? No, I haven't. I have said exactly. she is okay. She's a more fun character because she's le less edgy for the sake of being an edgy cunt. Uh, I have not. Now don't give. Don't put words in my mouth. I never fucking said any of them her personality. I I hate the fucking uh, the AI girl even more and the rest of them, except they have a nice episode, all of them together, where he starts fucking um, developing a little bit of personality again when they create the little mini family in the fucking woods when near the cabin, and it's like, oh my god, oh, this is what I like for the first four episodes. It's Again, it's gone. Okay, I think you're... Uh, now he's stupidly OP cunt, and no, Lona is not a personality. <laughs> Okay, I, I think what you're doing here is you, you are, unfortunately, you're you're not giving a character you have decided you've hated. You're not giving them anything. Because if I were to ask you what is this character's personality, you could probably describe to me their personality through personality traits a great deal, at great length. But you're not allowing Kirito that same respect. Like, yes, let me let me he... ask you this. What is uh, Issei Hyodo's personality? Who's that? The the lead character from High School DD. He is a a perverted nerd who everyone looks down to initially in the first. See, I haven't seen all the seasons. Who stumble into great power? So he is he is. A pervert who wants a girl. Well, that's a personality trait, not a personality. Okay. That's what I'm saying. That's you, then Lona is not. Then you just you just proved yourself wrong as well. It's no. not a personality. It's a personality trait. It's no, no, not no, 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 a solo no, player. Not, it's not a that's personality. Not I, that wasn't the point of what I was trying to say. The but that's I what you said. No, the point I was trying to make is how do you describe a personality? Well, you basically give them personality traits. You describe them using personality okay. traits. Okay, mention more personality traits to flesh out his... Then let me rechange it. His personality is so badly fleshed out, it's barely a personality. Is that better? Is Can you live with that? Not really. I'm, I, I, He's I, alone? I, I'm oh, honestly kind of tired of fighting this goddamn fucking argument because every single time I get into it with people all I ever get is pure hatred for Kirito and I'm like why do you hate Kirito so much? There's nothing interesting about so, not about him. I found him quite interesting. He's not the most interesting thing in the world. The only thing that really kept me watching the show was actually the visuals. The writing, as I said, when I watched again, the writing started to fade very fucking fast in the middle. Every single time you would actually have him interact with any character that what, was what's, technically what's his ranked biggest higher. Flaw? What's his biggest flaw besides being too powerful? He's an empty shell. That's a great word, Furry and Finley. He is the borderline basic shell of a starter character. They, he decided to say, no, this guy's just OP and girls like him at some point. Uh, and he's going to brood a lot and that's it. And, and you know what? I'm not just taking this on the first episode. What are we going to do with season two? Oh, season two, he's in the new game. He's never played before. Whoa, why is he fucking better than the best player in this game? In a game okay. he's never played before. Okay, the gun gale on uh, the, the GG That's not gun stuff. Gale. Yeah, this is no. the fantasy no. fairy shit. I'm not just talking about, I said season Alpine? one is the best of all of them. 
Season but one is both Aincred and Alfheim. Season two is GGO yeah. and Alfheim. Alfheim, Alfheim. I call Alfheim season two because Alfheim is so fucking trash. It well, is fucking cancer. It's oh god damn it. So, uh, well, in the in the actual manga, the Aincred story goes on a lot longer than what we got for the anime, and then Alfheim is actually almost as long as Aincred. But for season one of SAO, they can. Why is why is he so good at a game he's never played before? So why why is how is that an interesting character? Oh, okay, uh, okay, development to okay. get into okay. a game and suddenly be the best in here as well. Right. How is that fun? How can low you relate five, to that? Lo-fi, lo -fi, you're really throwing a fit over some of the most obviously overlooked details. One, he's a gaming nerd. It would not be very hard for him to catch on to the actual. Oh, shut! But game. that's not an interesting character. That's Hold the laziest character writing. In the part. That's Stop. like taking Sa Saitama and Stop. say, you know what? Let's remove the part of him being bored about. Lo-fi. Stop. They already even explained in the beginning, in the very first episode, when he gets into Alfheim, all of his skills, and everything else was transferred because it's yeah. basically just a copy of the previous game. How That's is that not reason. fucking lazy writing as well? How is that, that interesting? OP characters like this is not interesting. It's not interesting. It's bad writing. He's just a shell. He's the OP fantasy dude. I'm That's not his arguing character. that. Jesus Christ. How can you say that's life. a good character then? And how can you keep insisting that Lona is a personality? Because it is. Is your personality Lona? You have more personality than Lona. No, it's not. That's not your personality. No, actually, my personality is fucking... It, it's very heavily loner. I don't fucking talk to anyone outside of the internet now. I don't have anyone to hang out with in real life. I'm basically a loner now. But that wasn't the point I was trying to make. You're, again... You were saying, you were throwing a fit. How is he so good in a game he's never played before? He's a gaming nerd. He's done full dives before. Basically, there wasn't a whole lot to really get a whole uh, used to. The only thing he needed to be taught with was the fucking flying. And they, again, did a shitty job of that, actually. But still, yeah, they, they showed a it's little just... bit of training on that. That was it. And yeah, it is fucking lazy writing because the cardinal fucking system is basically just copy paste and then just a few yeah. details transferred in and transferred out and shit like that. Okay, fine. Fair enough. It's lazy fucking writing, but you're still going to throw a fit because he's suddenly so good because the writer was too fucking lazy to actually yeah, give an story. Of course I'm going to throw a fit because character is the is the main character. And the writer decides, like, he was OP in the first one. Okay, when I was finished with the first part of season one, I didn't hate Kirti. So, like, this is a missed opportunity. Then season two is, and it's like, how am I going to root for a character? It's like, there is nothing to root for besides, oh, emo fairy. The most interesting part of Gun Gale was that he suddenly looked like a girl. That was weird, though. Yeah, it was. It's fucking because the guy can't write fucking anything besides good graphics. Well, actually, I, he, he wasn't the artist. Uh, no, uh, I know. A high I school know. student who actually was the artist. <laughs> That's impressive. Good high school student. Holy shit. Yeah, um, I was actually shocked when I found out that the high school student uh, was... Uh, was uh, Yeah, she's very fucking talented, I gotta say. Okay, so, look. When it comes to SAO, there are things with the writing I'm willing to overlook because, for fuck's sake, Lo-Fi, I've watched worse anime than that, and I'm still a fan, okay? Go uh, back yeah. and watch Gundam Wing and tell me that no, isn't just no, a fucking writing that. nightmare. No, I don't watch that. I don't watch that for the same reason. When If I see an a, a <laughs> anime that's badly written, I don't rewatch that. There's a few animes where they are so bad, like like with movies. Well, it's like this is so bad. I think it's it's endearingly fun. That's why I fucking like Jurassic World <laughs> because it's so fucking stupid. I like it, but it's not good. Rip. It's not the characters has no personality either. Just, this guy is Ranger Man. That's his personality. Oh, character is Loner Guy. That's his personality. That's not. That's not. If I I want something more out of it. It sounds to me that you want very specific details for personalities 
And if yeah, you're not I want, getting, I want to, I want to be able to look and and remember the character besides Edge Lord with two swords who likes Asuna and has an AI daughter. Uh, who who no matter what game if he who's he gets out and he's good at fighting. That's fun. Ooh, almost uh, has a fucking affair with his sister. His sister is fucking to him. It's fucking emo, stupid. Fuck. He's not an Edge Lord. Edge Lord wasn't is, even a thing in that world at that he's point. He's a fucking Edge Lord. He is a How fucking is he an Edge Lord. How is he an Edge Lord? How is he being edgy design in is any way? His in design is Edge Lord, and he's an emo cunt. No, he's just emo. There was no yeah, such thing as Edge Lord at that point. He wasn't being fucking edgy. Edgy would his basically be his design is edgy. His bad design as well as a character. He looks terrible as well. Because he wears all black. Yeah, he's a boring, boring character with a boring design, boring person, almost lack of a boring shell of a personality in a boring anime. Oh, he is so edgy. He carries two swords, so he has twice as much edge. Oh, for Christ's sakes. I'm asking you how the fuck is he edgy and you can't give me an answer. You I, I, yes, I did, Brock. I said his design is edgy. How? He is supposed to pull defense that likes, what's it called, um, Shadow the Hedgehog. He's supposed to endear to those kind of people, those edgy goth assholes, edgy emo cunts. That's his design. So like, because he likes so to wear black... Like uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. Dis I'm this now. I am insulting the guy who designed the character's appearance. <laughs> as well, I can. I. I hate. I. It sounds like you only hate the fucking creator, and because of that, you're transferring all of your hatred to the. Of creation. course, because it's his creation, and he is a bad writer. He has bad character design on many of them, not all of them, given. The main characters are kind of fucking dull. There's the whole thing about Asuna is dressed in white. Kirito is dressed in black. Because one of them is light and fun. The other one is dark and broody and itchy. <laughs> the, the stupid thing is I actually used to um, uh, try to... Uh to argue with people on the, the symbolism is why they, they dress the way they do. And then... Uh, I think it was sometime later that I, I realized no, the writer probably didn't actually design them that way in, in the fucking thought the way I had actually originally thought, because when I come to, when I, when I think about character designs and shit like that, when I actually do my character designs, I actually think of specific looks, specific personality in their appearance which is why each character even though they go to a, uh you know the school with the school uniform and stuff like that each of them has a different version of the school uniform there's something slightly different to show that they are you know not not the same as the other so on and so forth and so i used to think that uh the reason why uh asana wore the uh the the white and red was to actually uh, resemble her purity, her passion, and uh, her her light. Um, the fact that she was actually meant to be the the light person, the the light hearted person, and everything like that. And then with Kirito, he wears so much black, even though he didn't always wear so much black. He actually had color in his previous uh, design, um, but when he had color, it was the crushing reality of this is a death game was creeping over causing his costume to become more and more black but eventually it almost went completely black because after the guild completely died in front of him and stuff like that there's very little color in it where all you see is like silvers and just the white streaks on the sleeves and all that shit and that was supposed to me that was supposed to resemble the pure black is his hope is gone. It's drained out of him. But there is still that sliver, that that white light, that shimmering uh, um, a bit of light at the end of the tunnel that he's still holding on to and he won't let go of his humanity completely and so on and so forth. And then I fucking found out that, yeah, he's. it's just the creator was a fucking faggot who thought it looked cool. And uh, I got mad. Can we um 
I got fucking genuinely mad because I put too much detail into something stupid. What's up? Um, I just, I'm just, I'm just reading chat. Oh. Um. Looking to uh, calm my tits because I hate this show. And it's badly written. And I, I, if the characters were real people, I probably wouldn't hate them. But uh, oh. the guy who wrote them is a fucking moron, and he did the exact same mistakes in Axel World. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. And how you can fucking also completely fail in the design of game. And no, I do not, do not take the suspension of disbelief when the games are this fucking terribly designed, as well. Oh my god! And uh, god damn it! I'm see. I'm now. I'm getting angry again. Yeah, you are. Uh, I rate wanted me to describe the uh, the anime. Um, Sao, very gorgeous looking, uh, beautiful anime that falls pretty flat on its face when it comes to the writing. Uh, there are things it, it, that I again, there are things I'm willing to look past because I've seen worse. I can I, give I, it that's, the, that's the problem. I can't do that. I refuse to give others the benefit of the doubt because I've seen something that's worse. I'm just going to say, this is bad. It's not as bad as, but it's still shit, so I won't do it. Besides that, it's it's bad. Everything deserves to say. I will shit on all of them. I'll just shit more on the worst product, but I will shit on SAO. Overrated, which doesn't help at all. I will shit on that, and then I'll shit on something that's worse than that, which... Is I can't even count the amount of anime that's what's uh outlaw. I'm we are talking about uh Sword Art Online, and I am shitting on it because I think it's bad. And Brogus can look past a lot of faults because there's worse shit out there, and I I don't I don't apply to that logic. If something's bad, I'm gonna shit on it. And oh, the worse it's... it is, I'm gonna shit off all of it. I'm gonna shit on every single piece of it. I'll shit on everyone that's bad. It's not necessarily that I'm willing to to overlook um, some of the details, some of the, the bad details, simply because there's worse out there. It's more so I can see how someone would fuck up with it. Um, it's not that big of a deal. It's not like it fucking completely takes you out of the story or anything like that, in my opinion. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, halfway through. I, I don't I don't know what it is. It's just the show falls on its face really fucking hard because there's this power hierarchy in, in the fucking world and it doesn't make any fucking sense because there are these characters that are clearly weaker than the main protagonist and they're consistently treating him like he's weaker than them. Like th there's an episode where he's forced to join a guild because the guy tricks uh, the, uh, or cheats and he's forced to join a guild immediately following uh, the, the forced guild uh, recruitment. He now has to go on a fucking training exercise to, and they want him to, uh, to they want to gauge his uh, abilities, his skills and shit like that. And I'm like, he's for the last X amount of time, been in the fucking assault team with you guys killing probably more than you and you want to see where his skill is fuck off that is the what? stupidest fucking goddamn excuse i have ever seen to get him in that situation oh god i hate him so much and he he doesn't want to rely on friend i understand why in the first four episodes when he loses everything he doesn't want he pushes people away and then he kind of learns his, learns his lesson but then he still doesn't want to rely on his friends even if we, he could just ask them he still doesn't want to do that he's he is a dumb he's a dumb black broad he's fucking dumb no yeah he's... that's actually that is another consistent issue that i i actually did have with the show he keeps making the same fucking mistake over and over again. Yeah, he ditched. doesn't grow as a character. He doesn't learn his fucking lesson. He he ditched Klein in the first episode. Well, technically second, but he ditched Klein in, in the first episode. And then when he meets up with Klein again, he doesn't bother to try and join up with Klein's fucking guild or anything like that, even though there clearly doesn't need to be a visual, you know, 
uh, it's not necessary to visually look exactly like every member of the fucking guild. That's one thing that was also pissing me off. If you're a member of the guild, you don't have to wear the same fucking shit as the entire guild. You're just a member of the guild. You have the symbol on your fucking armor, your your clothing, or your fucking avatar's like little icon and shit like that. That's how that's supposed to work. But everyone who was in the Knights of the Blood Oath, they all had to wear mostly white with a bit of red or a lot of red or or it was just mostly red and white. It it made no fucking sense. Like, why did everybody have to dress exactly the same? When they were with the Midnight Black Cats, whatever the fuck it was, the, the first guild that Kirito was a part of. It made sense yeah. that they all looked similar because they were still low-level fucking uh, um, characters. Yeah. Fair enough. They're all in their 20s. They're, you're not going to have a whole lot of fucking choices of armor appeal. But everyone later on in the high levels, they all wear the exact same looking fucking themed armor. That just drove me nuts. That drove me fucking nuts. And the entire time, the entire fucking time, Kirito, after telling Asuna and Klein to join guilds and to rely on other people, even though he himself at one point relied on other people but still didn't tell them the fucking truth and still didn't actually reach out to them and and, and fucking rely on them fully, he just kind of went with it. Further dangers himself by continuing to keep people away from him. Yeah, okay, because yeah. you really learned a fucking lesson. Dude. Yeah, that's bad character. That is exceptionally terrible writing. Um, and can, mm, if see if you want to watch um, an anime about a game where the game also makes sense and where the character grows, uh, watch Lock Horizon instead. It might be boring oh. at points, but at least it doesn't. It's not written by a fucking mongoloid with a poop in his hand. No, no, no. On a wall. Look, Log Horizon, it suffers from a few writing issues here and there, but it's yeah. only because the show tells you to just simply accept the world without yeah. context. And it's it, it 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 actually pisses me off. I've I've watched a fuckload of Log Horizon, and I'm just kind of sitting there. Was really angry, like fucking tell me why. Um, yeah, but that's but, part of the mystery. It's like I don't, no one knows why, and that's it. Like in Sao, yes, they give you like this is why people are trapped in this shit. But no, here's the this. twist. That, yeah, that actually, you know, when you explain why they're trapped, it it kind of it makes the the mystery not a mystery. And it sort of ruins the story a bit. With Log Horizon, they did a brilliant job of making it a fucking mystery throughout the entirety of the uh, first season. And then in the second season, it becomes an even bigger mystery. But you should have been given, at, at that point, a hint of what's going on. And they don't. And it pissed me off. Um, but that aside, Log Horizon is vastly superior uh, than SAO in many, many ways. I, I have to say, the writing... It does have some issues here and there, but nowhere near as many as SAO. And I'm only recently starting to notice the SAO bad writing because I think it was uh, I was drawing uh, last week, and uh, or maybe it was a few days ago when I was watching it. And all of a sudden, as I'm I'm drawing, I hear a character say something really fucking dumb, and I look over and I, I started to notice certain things about the show, and that's when I started picking up on a lot of the fucking bad writing moments. So there's a chance I might end up getting to the same rage level as fucking Lo-Fi. I don't I don't know. It's just I did enjoy it the first time I watched it, so I figured I would enjoy it, continue. And see, well, for me, the main it. rage is that it's such a missed opportunity. Uh, that that's why I get so angry if I if I didn't care from the beginning if if I wasn't caught on and said like oh this could be really good in the first half of the, the first six episodes let's just say six episodes right now uh, then I wouldn't get this angry but it's just a complete when you have a golden opportunity and you decide to take a huge fuck shit on it because you're a fucking moron that's when I get angry oh, yeah, and yes sense. Overlord is better than both shows. Oh, Lord, it's definitely better than both shows. I have still yet to watch that one, only because if I watch anything new, I have to give it my full focus, and I have been trying to improve my art lately, so it's just... 
also. But one thing issue with Overlord Season 2 is that the pacing, the pacing is terrible. The jokes are great. The Lizardman act in Season 2, no spoilers, is almost eight, eight episodes too long. God damn it. Wow. That got fucking boring at points, unfortunately. But the jokes with the Overlord is fucking great. It's fucking great, though. So that's that definitely also a recommendation. Fair enough. I, I, uh, one of these days I am going to sit down and watch Overlord, especially since there was a clip uh, that I had seen with some big titty chick who was obsessing over the Overlord Demon King character. And, like, the shit that was coming out of her mouth was just weirding me the fuck out. I'm like, what kind of fucking anime is this? And uh, so, yeah, it definitely piqued my interest. Oh, I, I'm, I'm, at the, uh, I'm at the end of my rope here. I, I can't keep going uh, as much as I would love to keep raging on fucking different anime. Because, honestly, I, you talking about bad writing with SAO and how much you fucking hate it, I was actually about to start just ripping into some older anime that people like to praise as like this godly fucking amazing goddamn show and I love nothing more than to well pr pretty much destroy it like yeah, uh, that hype hype kills a lot as yeah. well so as I, a, mm. I will say this much um, for anyone who is a Gundam fan cool I I enjoy Gundam myself I am a fan of the the, the mech series but uh, regardless of what you tell me, I'm never going to believe you in that um, Universal Century is the best. Because if you really look at it, it's the fucking worst. Oh yeah, it's the one that started the whole thing off. It's the one that gave us Gundam. And it's the one that fucking brought that whole genre into light and everything like that. But if you rewatch all of Universal Century's fucking shit... Minus, like, well, at least Mobile Suit Gundam specifically. It's garbage. It's hot fucking garbage. The story is literally a whiny fucking bitch, Amuro Ray, who can't get his shit together, constantly fucking crying throughout the show because a guy with a mask named Char is better than him and kills his fucking buddies around him. Seriously, get over your shit. I that's, fucking that's hate Amuro Ray. No, I, I agree with the Gundam shit. I, I've, like, there's multiple people that said, you should watch the mega anime. Like, Gundam was like, no, no, please, no, I don't want to. I watch some of it. That I don't like. That's, I, that's terrible. No. Um, let's end on a high note, though. The last, the last sen sentence of this show. Brock, is your last sentence. What are you going to say before we end? Watch more comedy anime. Uh, if you're going to watch any anime, because you never realize how fucking much you need a good laugh until you've got cartoon characters doing something or saying something so off the wall hilarious that you just feel so much better for it. Comedy anime saves lives. And my last sentence is Evangelion is overrated. Oh my God. Yes, it is. Thank you. Just at the show. At the show before the <laughs> 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 I 